You're about to watch another exciting episode of The Dungeon Run, but did you know that you can actually be part of the adventure? Tune in live on Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific time, and you can make your voice heard and help determine the fate of our adventurers. Hope to see you there. Welcome to the Dungeon Run, my arms hurt. <laughs> we were just talking about it, we've been doing a push-up challenge. We're doing yeah. a push-up challenge. All of us. Who are we? Yeah. Yeah. 40 a day. <laughs> really good. So if you want to join us. Blame Adam. Yeah. You guys, Adam. there's a spreadsheet. There is a yeah. spreadsheet. I keep track. I'm getting to 30 a day, I'm getting to 40. I'm getting Sean to and do Sloan do had to watch the entire crew do push-ups yeah. before we started. We literally did push-ups before we started. Who are so we? Strong. We should have filmed that. <laughs> so, we should have filmed that. Have. <laughs> so as you can tell, tonight is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so we've got a lot to do, because so we here we roll. go. Quick programming note, next week our show will be on Tuesday night at 6 p.m. instead of Wednesday uh, because there's a little thing called Gen Con uh, going down and uh, some people have to... Uh, have to uh, get travel. out of here and yeah. travel before we can uh, do things. So, uh, one night early next week. I'm sure a lot of you are prepping for Gen Con too, so it'll be fun. We'll talk about it. Uh, fun. Now, reminder if you're going to Gen Con in Indianapolis next week, check out Serena and Josephine. Who will be planning a number of games. <laughs> Well, I was gonna say, why do you want to say this? You're like me, Mom? To we were name. literally just talking about it. <laughs> if you want to see where they're going to be, check their socials for the full list. Indeed. <laughs> it's going to be a great if you, uh, Can I, add, like, no, yeah, if you see, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. I feel like sometimes yeah. people are afraid to come up, but yes. also, we don't know what you look like, nope. so you have to. <laughs> You have to initiate yes. because we don't know if you know. I love a good high five. Yes. And also, in case you missed it, like when we were do, reading off the Patreon names and we pimped Serena into, oh my gosh, are you Serena? That's how it's going to be. Yep. yep. That's exactly how it's going to be. Gonna how it's, how it's going to be. Exactly how it's going to be. <laughs> Serena's got a thousand yard stare already. <laughs> Next, we literally, we really do have a lot of things to talk about on top of the show tonight. Um, I'm gonna take it down. We have some sad news. Uh, we announced it on the cooldown and on the Discord, but we're sorry to say that one of our sponsors, Dogmite, has had to unexpectedly close their shop. Uh, we wanted to send our love. We don't have many details. It took all of us by surprise, but we certainly wish all of them well, and we're grateful for the absolutely gorgeous pieces that they've made for the show. Yeah. We're thinking of you, and we hope wherever you are, you're landing on your feet. Uh, I'm so sorry. Um, but, uh, moving on. <laughs> From that sad bit of news, <laughs> uh, we're still working with our wonderful sponsors, Die Hard Dice and World Anvil. Thank you both, and check out our intermission for plenty of news on awesome discounts to those wonderful places of business. Anyway, let's bring the tone back up. Uh, <laughs> well, your shirt is we definitely are, Thank helped. you. Yeah. I'm gone summer. It's 105 <laughs> degrees outside. Yeah. Um, our show is made possible by Patreon. Patreon.com slash a dungeon run is the place to go to for all the awesome bonus content for short rest for the dungeon cooldown, which Serena, Adam, and I did this week where we leveled up our characters oh, yeah. and did a whole lot of more theorizing and, yep. uh, you know, it got pretty deep, as it often does. Mm. Uh, Ron held a marathon cooldown the week before where he went two hours, two hours. just Ron by himself. What? I don't think we're allowed to watch it. You're not because we created some stuff for the future Whoa. together Whoa. with uh, with the audience. Oh. Yeah, so it's the second time we've really done it. Um, if you watched the first uh, one shot that we had, which was the Adventures of Ursula Scratch, yes. uh, the uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, <laughs> the crab people. crab people were entirely helped and invented. Uh, in, in, in addition oh to the river God. otters yeah, invented by the otters. If, if you all want a good time. Go back and watch that episode when Jared is forced to do that voice. <laughs> it is, oh, it is just because uh, <laughs> Ron just comes in at a ten, and Jared's like, yeah, Jared's like uh, yeah. really? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's uh, true. Free that's interactivity, true. the short rest, monthly games DM by me, cast secrets, behind the scenes looks, and so much more. Patreon.com slash a dungeon run. And as we always like to do when there are new patrons, we like to shout y'all out. So welcome this week to Joshua and Annabelle. Yay. We're so Yay. happy to have you. Welcome. Enjoy the perks. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Speaking of interactivity, Ronald. Yeah, all right, I'm still man. <laughs> Even when I'm like waving, it's it's getting me. It's also here. I get it like here for some reason. Like oh. the muscle that's here, it's weird. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are an interactive show. Uh, and uh, tonight I've got some special 
Uh, I'm not going to ruin it now, but there's going to be something special towards intermission that is going to be a huge change to how we do some inter interactivity here. So stick around. It'll all be welded into the story, and you are going to have even more opportunity to interact with this world. We're just going to do it on a telephone, a hard line? Yeah, yeah. hard line. Yeah. 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 We're going to go back old school. We're going back old school. Telethon, guys. That's what it is. Telethon. Uh, but until that time, until we get towards intermission, uh, you can interact with the show. You can give all of the players advantage or disadvantage. You can give me advantage or disadvantage. And we have two things called the force of light and force of shadow. Mm -hmm. Now, these forces can build and build and build to provide boosts of power, as well as some role play elements, perhaps a puzzle, perhaps a hindrance. It's all up and random, but the way that we do that is we fill a meter. So you can purchase glimpses of shadow, glimpses of light, and bursts of light and bursts of shadow. A glimpse moves the bar a little bit, a burst moves the bar a lot. The more and more we get those from the community, the greater and greater the rewards or hindrance or puzzles become. That is how you can interact with us live. We do have a brand new link for the interactivity right now. It should send you to stream elements. It's all there in our normal prompts and in the uh, about tab you know, under interact on our Twitch page. So go to that. If it looks new tonight, it's because it is. Uh, so use that. Lastly, before we start it. Yes. Uh, one last big thing. Um, so, as we have told you all, we have been kind of adjusting about how we tell stories here at the Dungeon Run to chapters, ch different chapters of a larger story. And if you can't tell, this chapter, which has been centered around the City of Glass, will soon be coming to a close. However, we will be revisiting this story later on with all of these characters and all these wonderful players soon. We can't wait, trust me. But in two weeks, two weeks from tonight, we are going to be starting a new chapter of a new story <laughs> set in our world, well, it's actually set just slightly outside of our world. Correct. Because we are going to be telling a new story over the course of a few weeks set in the Feywild with a new DM, Rachel Seeley, our friend Rachel Seeley, who is incredible. Yeah. And we're so excited. She was actually just here with Pixel Circus running a Barbie D&D yeah. &D one shot. Yeah. Uh, check it out if you haven't. Uh, it's incredible. We love Rachel from Girls Guts Glory and from many other things. She's incredible. She is going to be running a Feywild short campaign with some familiar faces and some new faces. Mm -hmm. um, if you can think about uh, possible characters from the Feywild about who might be involved, you might be able to guess some of them. But <laughs> it's in our larger universe. We've had a lot of tie-ins with the Feywild and uh, you're gonna continue to see that. So two weeks from tonight, that is coming. Uh, but yeah, we're really excited. Can I say, uh, I've been doing a little bit of uh, lore work with Rachel and what a brain. I cannot wait. Uh, the creative process was so energizing and fun. I'm excited to see what comes out of it. So. But uh, you will be seeing more of these five characters yes. and of this table very soon. Uh, but we wanted to make everyone aware and we're so excited. So stay tuned for that. You got you got us for two more weeks right now. Yeah. Uh, but uh, unless we <laughs> unless we blow everything up. Uh... Uh, I mean, it's your choices. You all tell me. Uh, I'm here to. I'm here with y'all. So, uh. uh, but we love you guys, and uh, yeah. So stay tuned because there's so much more amazing stuff on the way. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. Anyone got anything else before we go? Uh, yeah. Uh, I believe there was also a dice bag. Uh, that is right. Uh, uh, a watcher by the name of Canadian Dwarf sent us a hand sewn dice bag. Uh, incredible. That uh, we had to roll off for. And one Miss Serena Marie Hello. was the winner of this beautiful hand-sewn dice bag. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. Which, and there's dice inside, I believe, wait, too. Hold on. I believe there's dice? I believe they gave you some dice. <gasps> oh, oh, look what? at that. So beautiful. So and I forgot my dice today. I know. Oh my god. Yes. How perfect. Okay, amazing. Beautiful and perfect. Thank you. And it comes with its own lore that the, she has not had the chance to open it yet. Wax sealed. Uh, Hand beautiful. Written. Handwritten. Oh, I love, okay, I love stationery and I love wax suits. <laughs> I am freaking out. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Canadian you. Dwarf. Thank You're you so incredible. Much. And you. it came along with a lovely note to yeah. all of the cast and crew that's worked on the show over the years. They've been a watcher since Campaign 1, Episode 1, they said. So we're very grateful to you. Uh, it arrived and it's beautiful. Thanks. Thank you so much. All right, I think that's it. Sean, 
You can take us to the city of glass one last time. We return to the astral plane, but things have changed. When we were last here, our intrepid adventurers, Coco, the Feywild Ranger, Cristobal, the only wizard there is, <laughs> Valcorio, the Echo Knight, Otto, the thief sorcerer rogue, and our beloved Rhea Stone, chosen of Lumbra, cleric trickster. We met Sozezeron in the final in the finality of the battle with Baron Megalon. Sozezeros. Sozezeros. Yeah. Thank you. Apologies. Sozezeros. Did it to yourself. It is. I did. I did this to myself. I'm going to write it down right now. <laughs> so Zezer. I got so close. Look at how I wrote it. <laughs> oh yeah. It's all Z's. I did too. Yeah. It is a lot of Z's. It's one, two, three, so many Z's. four Z's. Sozezeros. Uh, they met Sozezeros, also known as the astral dragon through Val's returned Echo Knight. They were told quite a few things. A lot of revelations in the last episode, including that they are the last surviving timeline in the universe. That their choices, for some reason, are different, are unique, are the way to the future. So Zezeroz has indicated that they are now free to choose as they will, and in fact, he will not be able to interfere until they return to the astral plane. When they return to the material plane, he will not be able to contact them, and will be forced to follow the rules as all gods do on the material plane. They have chosen to take a rest. Their decided target is to return to Val's homeland, the Tri-Cities, in hopes of gathering some support and information before moving on to the Lake of Dreams, where we learned the Oracle, Cristobal's mother, the Avatar, Toshi, exists in wait for the group. Jeez. This will allow them an opportunity to prepare for Baron Medjelon's return to the material plane. The Astral Dragon has indicated that he will return them to the time, but not the place, when they first left for the City of Glass. This should offer so this should afford them a few weeks before Baron Medulon makes his appearance. Whoa. At the cliff. Did we know that? Uh, so I was confused about it, but I talked to yeah, yeah, we do. Whoa. We know that now. I thought that was clear. I missed and that. it was not. <laughs> I, say, say that, say that uh, yep, absolutely. So they are now in the space that they have set aside in the astral plane. Cristobal's tower stands tall. Yes. Everything else is slowed down. So Zezeroz waits patiently for you all to finish your rest. Right. You can now freely ask him questions as you wish. Wait, so... So Zezeroz? No, yeah, that's the name of the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are... The tower is standing. We're not in it. You're just outside it, but if you would like to yeah, describe so, uh, the tower. So uh, when, <laughs> when everyone talks about needing a place to rest, Cristobal um, offers to create his tower. And um, he, again, the uh, spiders uh, come out of his sleeves and they start grabbing components. <laughs> Never get used to it. <laughs> they start grabbing uh, uh, various material components from around the uh, room uh, that's 
glass, uh, small pieces of obsidian, any masks that may have fallen from the throne um, during the combat. Um, you all see that this stopped animation. You, remember, you were left in the court, and that was sort of drawn to the background, and you were given a separate sort of uh, pocket plane where you're just discussing and talking with the uh, astral dragon's echo as he inhabits Val's echo. That is still the case. So as your as your spiders come, those little where it stopped is very much like where, when Val went and picked up the mask last time. Mm -hmm. It moves out of the way to let them pick up those materials and continue. And uh, very quickly, uh, over the course of about ten minutes, uh, there is a two-story tower composed of glass, obsidian, steel, and masks. Um, and if, when you open up uh, into the first floor, you see a um, uh, a workshop with uh, several benches, um, various alchemical tools. Uh, it looks like a place to do experiments and studies. Uh, the next floor up is a uh, comfortable drawing room with a chessboard, high back chair, roaring fire. Uh, above the mantle, there is a uh, family portrait. Uh, and you see uh, Cristobal's father uh, still looming large in it, but ever so slightly in the background, you notice uh, Gast standing in the lower left. Um, and uh, like sneaking into each portrait. No, 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 no. It's, 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 more, it's like, more like, it's more like they're photobombing. Like getting, getting, <laughs> clo getting closer yeah. to the dad every time. <laughs> It's just like kind of like a horror story. My mind went horror story. She went photobombing. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is that these these I, I misspoke by saying family portrait. It's okay. more of like a, a capturing a, a scene at court, and my father is prominent, but now featured amongst the court is Gas. Oh, like Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Yes, See, exactly. Head's yes. still in horror movies. Sorry, exactly. keep going. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so yes, so uh, the bottom floor is where I'll be laying out like all the magical items that we have, we have. like for instance the monocle that's stuck to your face. Oh, <laughs> Can't lay yeah. that out. <laughs> Still um, stuck. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but all of you are welcome to retire to the study upstairs. I feel like uh, I, I must uh, examine Otto's face. Um, yeah. <laughs> as well as any of the other items we may have discovered um, whilst oh, here. Stuck. Oh By yeah, the and and to be clear, you know, we had the review at the end of the episode. I think Yuri was in their true form, yes. and they are not yeah. current. That was okay. a momentary, mm -hmm. and after that, they've they've now changed into a tiefling, a la, a smoky purple, tiefling. <laughs> smoky, smoky purple, violet. Oh, yeah. smoky violet. Ooh. Ooh. I like smoky yeah. violet. Yeah, yeah, smoky violet. Smoky violet. Um. Uh. Oh yeah, because they my, my clothes change eye. with yeah. as well, so I'm wearing. There's just smoke coming out of. Them. Yeah, it is <laughs> really like fire. they are smoking. That's <laughs> um, uh, what you saw maturity for. It's great. <laughs> he's got a. It's he him. He's got a uh, almost like a silk ivory like peasant blouse, right? Like with the little like lace at the top and tight black leather pants. <laughs> Yes. Every character is hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. So he's Brad Pitt in a yeah. yeah. Legend of the Fall. Legend of the Fall. Yeah, he's yeah. just smoking. With horns, clearly. Yeah, with the... yeah. horns sweeping back. Yeah, let's say black hair that's like swept back too, uh, but short, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, looks like it's got like a little pomade in it somehow. Coco, Coco's <laughs> just staring. Great, great. I don't know if I'm going to get used to this anytime soon. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be smoking? Are you, so <laughs> that, uh, you just assume that, that he's always smoking. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, really and done right at your service. Uh, sorry, what? What? Really? Yeah. Really. 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 Like, really. Really. Yeah. I, think, I think you're going to fit right into the Tri Cities. Perfect. E L E N. Really? <laughs> really? All right. What? Uh, so Zazaraz is still here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's. It's awkward. Like he's just sort of standing there. <laughs> yeah. We, we all ignore yeah, him patiently no. as you're doing all regularly. Right. right. So it was just. Obviously, <laughs> that was a quick transition. Yeah. For sure. Right? Of just, course. We and made a god feel awkward. Can we talk about that? <laughs> awkward I am going to lean against the tower <laughs> and just let y'all talk, but I, I don't have any questions. And Coco is still just staring. <laughs> um, 
So there's a Roz. Yes. Sorry, you said we're going to return to the same time, but not the same place. Yes. So if we are going to return to the Tri-Cities, or I'm going to return to the Tri-Cities, it'll be the first time for the rest of you. I'll go to a city! Yeah. Three of them. Yeah. I'll try. At the same time. But at the same time that we left, it will be the moment that you left the Prime to come to Lumbra's Plain. You will return the moment after you left. So the moment still that we were fighting uh, She Who Slithers. Yes. To any observer in the Material Plane, it would appear that you simply instantaneously transported from one place oh. to another. Wow. Uh, I'm worried about the Hanging Gardens, I guess. I mean, Saint... Saint is now the avatar of... Um, Aita. Aita, thank you. Um, they are quite powerful, more powerful than we can claim to be. True. I- I'm sure that... Th- Saint's super capable. That's one thing I learned about Saint. Mm-hmm. They're very strong and very smart. Especially now that they're a god. Which is ridiculous! Yeah, really. Yeah, the more I think about Wild. it. Wild! Can you imagine the songs? The so oh, songs, the songs written oh. about Saint! Yes. Oh no, the songs a Saint is going to sing. So, uh, yeah. Both, really. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, both are going to be amazing. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, no. Wait, so... We're going to be ahead of Megalon? Yes. Was that not clear? No, no, I... I mean, there's a lot, so... But that's good! Oh, yeah, it's good! Listen, we've just had a really intense... battle? Yes. As I've identified before, my vision is vast, but is often lost in the minutia. How long have I been gone from there? Good question. <laughs> question. I have this Morgan's been down. waiting to ask. I have this written down somewhere. 47 years. 47 years. <laughs> I, 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 you, you are 450 you joke. years old. There were some teases that maybe it's longer for some of us. For Saint, it was only a couple weeks. I have this somewhere, but I don't uh, remember where wait, I put it. Wait, what? Yeah. What? Wait, yeah. what? Wait, say that again? When we were swept up in the storm, it, we were gone for an indeterminate amount of time before right. we were dropped into the tundra. So we could have been just in the storm for like longer? Yeah. Listen. The what? I Listen, told you. Time is so weird. I told we, you. We found out. I remember distinctly saying, okay, Saint said, people tell Saint she's only been gone for like a couple weeks. So we've only been gone a couple weeks. And then it was like, well, Ron's like, well, you think that's how long Saint's been gone. You don't right. know about the rest of you. Yeah, there are, there are, I have it written down and I don't know where it's at. It's somewhere in here. And I did not expect you to ask me that question. That's sorry. No, it's okay. It, it's, to, it's, a, it's a very valid question and I have it here. Uh... I will have to get back to you on that. Oh. Sorry, Wait, man. Can okay. I ask an easier question? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, so Zezera, uh, yes. question. Um, so, like, a lot of stuff happened to me separately from when they were doing, like, hero stuff? Yes. Yeah, do, does that reset? Like, do I have to regain favor with Bahasa? Because a lot of stuff happened. I don't do. Is that out of your pure pur- purview? Or? Bahasa is afforded their own location, and what stays true there is up to So Bahasa. what happens in the gauntlet? Stays in the gauntlet. <laughs> Good. All right, that's all I need to know. Get, Thank you. Get it the on a t shirt. Uh, wait, but, <laughs> but, but you were dropped out of the gauntlet shortly after we arrived, so I assume it would be very similar. Oh, that's right! Like, we got here, well, no, and you got here. I don't remember she who slithers. I was not there. I right. was in the gauntlet. Exactly. Yeah. You don't want to meet them. No, they were There's so much stuff that happened to you guys, and I was uh, doing stuff. <sighs> There's hey, a so lot that happened to you. Is there anything going on in your world that I am? Uh... Oh my god, I am sorry. I just, I'm not used to that at all. Go on. I'm sorry. You're, uh, really in. I'm sorry. It's still me, Otto. <laughs> ah! Is it? Ah! Yeah, yes. It's just a different side of me. When you left, uh, was there anything that we should know about going back in in this world? Like, were there any wars happening? You know. I mean, there was a lot that I of? didn't know. That's a great question. I, um, so I had been kind of 
out of the picture for a couple of years. I mean, after oh. things went bad with Strix and I decided to kind of, you know, get out of town, literally and figuratively, uh, I stayed out for about two to three years. And then I got a letter that told me your dad is dead. You need to come home. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. And Is he murdered? I don't know. Okay. Not even, apparently, as Ozezeral's known. Oh. I cannot see that moment in this timeline. His death seems strange. Okay. Seems out of the ordinary. I'm sorry. He was old, but well, I mean, last I knew he was strong. Again, I, we Wait, barely did spoke. You, did you go to the service or anything? No, it had already happened by the time I got back. No. But um, I got back, and then within an hour, within uh, yeah, probably less than an hour, I was on the front lawn of our house with Strix, and there was a, a, a quake or, or a, a rumble, and then a, a flash, and then the storm came, and I was gone. Oh. So, in answer to your question, I don't really know. Okay. I don't really know. I know that my family, my family's business was not going well. My sister was being forced to kind of all take it on herself uh, and was quite mad at me about it. Um, What's your sister's name so I can know to say your sister's name? Vizzy. Thank you. Vizette. Vizette, Vizzy, Vizette. My brother's name is Bretonius. Are we Wait, gonna I'm run sorry, in? one more time? Bretonius. Bretonius. Are we going to run into them there? I mean, I think we should probably go there. You should see your family. Yeah, but I think we should. So I'm very visible there and i don't know if that's going to be in our best interest oh, when we yeah. arrive maybe we should um keep a low profile the city if you have not spent much time in it can be far more dangerous than the wild that you might be accustomed to the the dangers in the wild are straightforward and hey. oftentimes ah. no i mean have you seen a cave slug they're really scary but that, uh, that no, they're so poisonous. I'm not saying they're not poisonous. No, and they're really big, and you <laughs> right. can't even kill them. You can't like they they split. I, if I you think cut them in half, they, they just turn into two, two cave slugs. I think you're misunderstanding. Right. I, I'm, I'm saying that y yes, that that sounds terrible <laughs> for a awful. number of reasons. Cave slug, no one's I feel you. <laughs> yes. I, I, I was more saying that Talking um, about street smarts, baby. Right? Yes, you, the the, oh, the yes, court deal. Yes, the court deals in uh, secrets and subterfuge and um, subtlety uh, okay. you will not Politics. find you, you will not find an ogre walking down the street but yeah. you might find a knife in your back in an alley Why? I'm so nervous I'm not very good at subtlety what are the politics I'm, like I'm good at lying the family is a sort of um... <laughs> Sorry. And that's exactly what Chris Ball does. Chris Ball is just like <laughs> It's, tr it's called the Tri-Cities because it's sort of run by three different families. You have the Dragonborn, you have the Aesimon, you have the Gith. Ooh. Uh, all of them deal in magical dealings. The Gith are known for weaponry and, and magical physical items. Uh, the Dragons are known for magical potions and, and things of that nature. Fantastic wine. wine. My, my family uh, became very rich from moon wine, uh, which is a, a mystically made wine. Uh, and the Aesima, um, from the mind, clerical, they yeah, do like a one divine, divine, yes, of course. So they're Aesima, uh, yes, as you would think, as you would think. Um, so everyone has their own interests. My family and the Gith haven't gotten along great for a while. Uh, the Aesima and we are on better terms, but I certainly didn't make it any better when I ruined our wedding. Um, Wait, 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 let's go back. Wait, were you, was it like, was Strix of that family? Okay, cool, I get it. Everyone was happy that the two families was, were going to we're be joining be, yeah. until I stabbed one of them. Wait. Oh yeah, you went there for that story. Oh, no, yeah. No, it was just the three of us, I forgot. Yes, and Saint. And Saint. Yes. You stabbed a guy? I stabbed her cousin. Why? He was In a, a friendly jerk. duel. I mean, yeah. Oh, it was a duel. So it was like, like uh, okay. If I you, say if, it's friendly. He was a jerk. I stabbed him. I mean, sometimes people. I'm glad you're finally being honest about it. I mean, you know, I was being wry about it before. 
Uh, Strix was your Rex then? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it was her cousin, and her family demanded that the wedding be called off, and mm. she didn't stop them. And I'm sorry, they're, they're racing them off? Yes. Yeah. Are we going to run into them? Probably. And Here's the thing. I, whether I liked it or not, <laughs> when, I, when I got home, uh, everyone seemed to knew I, know I was home immediately. Including Strix. Well, you are very. You... Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't really go you, about it. You stand out. You're. Uh, yeah, you're, you're an attractive very... oh, dragonborn. Yeah. Thank you. you, you Thank you, new tiefling friend. Energy. <laughs> All of the houses will have spies throughout the city. Yeah. They monitor everything, the yeah. comings right, so and goings. Are you like magically marked though? Because like you said that you know your family specializes in magic stuff. Maybe you're tagged. I think I am. Well, how do you want us to appear then? Thought about looking. <laughs> Would you like me to examine you? <laughs> Love when the GM says that. <laughs> Val looks, if it was anything, I think it would either be... Because if everybody knows immediately, that's weird. It would either be this, my armor, my breastplate, or my sword, or the rapier. You didn't take any of those off when we took a bath before in the last tower. <laughs> he threw, you did not... Wait, listen. you didn't take off... Yeah. Did I take what? a bath? In a I don't bath? even remember that I did. We I all think... took a bath. We smelled. No, I think. I think I'm sorry, I, not the last tower, but the tower outside. before that. <laughs> the tower two towers I ago. I, I think <laughs> I was too creeped out to bathe. Yeah, I think that's right. Well, look, it looks like your reputation here is at stake. How do you want us to appear when we yeah. go into I mean, the I city? I don't really well, we care wanna... about my reputation. I just care about everyone's safety. No, I, I can't my, my, my reputation is beyond saving. It's gone. No, it's never. Do we need to protect you? It's not, not a what good thing. Well, I, I, I appreciate you trying to talk me up. People there don't think very highly. And this is well, because of the wrong. wedding? Because of the wedding and because of other things. I, I think when we get to the Tri-Cities, we need to um, evaluate and take the temperature of the place. I have several contacts there that oh. might be able to afford Make us some information. Hot. There may be changes. What do you mean? I am fighting a battle against something that has control or some influence on the timelines. What? So, there may be changes. So we... So my contacts may no longer be there? More subtle than that. Okay. Okay. When I got back, like, things, things were bad. My, my family's house was in disarray. My father had just died, and, and we'd had several years of, of bad crops, all of it. It wasn't going well. But Vizzy said something that seemed to think as if, and there were two men there, as if there was some sort of deal happening. I, I didn't have time to find anything out. And again, they didn't really want to tell me. So... I'm just, all of this is up in the air. This is a long way of saying, I don't really know what we're about to walk into, yeah. so I would like us to do it carefully. Absolutely. You set the temperature. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Otto, I... What? There's some things that I, I say because I have occasionally a low opinion of myself. There's other things that I know that are based on fact. I was given a lot of chances in my life, and I blew most of them. It's true. I, we have even heard about some of the fallout in Pasaro. Well, I'm sure if you just explained. And also, <laughs> like, I, people change too, and. Of course, yes. I, I just. You are a hero. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You've saved me so many times. Did I? And, and if they don't like you, well, then that's their loss, because you're amazing. Hopefully, we can change their minds. I don't blame them for whatever anyone might think of me right now. But I, I won't fight them. Please don't. For you. I'll let you know when it's okay to fight. Let me know. Them. Okay, great. Please let me know. I know. Appreciate it. I tap on my monocle glass. I really yeah. need to look at that. <laughs> yeah. I um, really need to study it. Uh, hey, uh, hello. Hey, is, uh, is everybody <coughs> healthy? Healthy. Uh, I feel like I'm starting to get a little thick in my lungs. I can use like a little bit of a rest. Something's but... beginning to metastasize. What? You have a. <laughs> Much time to rest as you wish. Yeah, we should go to sleep. I call top bunk. <laughs> uh, would you? Ed, would everyone or... like to go to sleep? Or what? what yeah, I mean, uh, I, I could use some rest, but uh... can we do a campfire inside? Inside? Um, I could do something like... similar—a fire pit of sorts. Okay. An indoor fire pit. Sure. 
Yeah. Okay. Everyone, yeah. so we're all still downstairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I will cast it again and change the upstairs from a study into a the bunk bed the area. If you're casting here, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's easier. It, it's not, a, a, there's almost no strain on your body. You know, casting, you know, we like to play mm -hmm. wizards and, and clerics, but casting is a huge thing, right? They sure. indicate it's a lot of energy and, and that's why you have to rest. You get tired. Wow. Here, you <laughs> it's barely noticeable when you cast. Uh, so, um, now upstairs is a, uh, has, uh, three sets of bunk beds, uh, four sets of bunk beds, one against each wall. There is a, now a, uh, fire pit in the center of a, uh, of the room, uh, that is, uh, going, and there is a funnel leading out, so the smoke isn't filling up our, our, uh, lungs. Yep. Um, I'm at, gas is up there finishing making the last bed, uh, along with ghost. So this tower is every... You just imagine it and it happens? Um, well, it, it, the, the spell itself is a, a, a academic spell, but yeah. it pulls from my own uh, mind, memories, and subconscious to help create it. So if I were to create something, it would be what I know? Yes. Interesting. Yes. Mm. Okay. Did you make us each rooms? Uh, no. We were sleeping in the same room! Four of us can be yeah. top bunk. There's four sets of bunk beds. Uh, unfortunately, I can only create two stories. Um, oh, okay. And, uh, no, this is no, as I big mean, as that's I, fine. Yeah, that works. Don't tease yeah. him about the height of his tower. Sorry. Man, the tower's perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, it's, I know it is. It's the best nice. tower. It's a pretty good tower. It's a very uh, good tower. This is one of your best. Thank you. Yeah, Thank so you very much. Did it feel easy? It it is it, uh, magic here is feeling. You can um, even sweat. Yeah, you usually pour sweat. Yeah, it's usually magic. really hard. I don't I don't think I've ever sweat, but um, maybe you, once. You, you glow always. A glow. It's you, more of a glow. He's yeah. botoxed all his sweat. Exactly. There is no <laughs> sweat glands <laughs> anywhere. Anywhere. My face barely moves. Um, He's casting poison spray into his skin like botox. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's that's out there. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, so uh, the the um, Zozezeron. Uh, Zozezeron. Zez <laughs> uh, my accent Zoz is. I, I would I would prefer if you did not comment on my accent. I'm so sorry. That is how I say it. So how I say it. Okay. <laughs> so uh, Zozezeron. Um, uh, the, this land that they occupy, this plain, is a hub for ley lines. Um, it is like. Back where we are from, I am trying to pull water from a well, while here it is like trying not to get swallowed by the ocean. Wow. There is so much power here. Ron, yes? What do I know about the Lake of Dreams and the, and the ivory, the ivory oracle? Uh, uh, didn't we roll that last time? Uh, I knew that I recognized it, okay. and but I don't know if, I, if there was much else. Yeah, I think it's just more of a recognition. Um, you know, some of the more rich families probably mm -hmm. talked about vacationing there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to turn to like Zosezeron. the Hamptons of Mecca. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Berkshires. Uh, to Zosezeron. Uh, Zosezeron. 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 Um, you mentioned before that the memories of my mother were removed from me magically. Was it the same with my father? Yes. Can you return them? I cannot. Do you know what took? who took them? Yes. Your mother. Huh. Took her own memories? Yes. Took, From... took my father's memories yeah. of her. And yours. Oh, and that's... my memory of her. Yes. Wow. Ouch. Uh, probably for a good reason though. Yeah, maybe there was something really painful she didn't want you to remember. Or him to remember. Maybe she said something. And maybe oh, she didn't it. want to be followed. Well, let's not guess. Yeah, it's, I mean, if, if she's in the Oracle, she must know something. She is also a primogeny. Yeah. Toshi. Yes. Oh, what does that make you? The son of a primogeny? Wait, was she wow. always? No. no. She... Oh. Because yes, because the avatars join have to join with the primogeny. Yes. So I know their fusing was cordoned. Okay, so it she was done with her permission. Well, thank goodness for that much, I guess. Yes. 
Uh, it is important for her. It is less important for me at the moment for Toshi, to Toshi and um, my, my mother's cordons, uh does not require me to be a part of that. You said, so there's a rose, you said you locked away uh, Lambra and Thasha. Yes. I have been thinking on that. You all have a connection with each other. We work out together. I... Sorry. We do. I still have to do my 40 Okay. Yeah, we do. Yeah, you we do. do. The Absolutely. Lunar and the Ranger definitely I, work out. It <laughs> is. Oh, yeah, I work out. <laughs> you can tell. It is. In the leather pants. <laughs> it is beyond my understanding and connection. But you and your choices are what I can use to pivot against the fetid father. There are, and he sort of looks off into the distance. And those that watch at home, it's almost as if he looks directly at you and says, there are gods that are unique to your timeline. The gods who watch, they exist only when you exist. They are unique and exist in no other timeline. Perhaps they are the reason that we are still here. I feel that it is deeper, that there is some pattern in this universe I created that escapes even me. So, I have decided to make a change. I will not do as I have told you I would do. I will not remove the city of glass. I will not block Lumbra and Thasha out of the decision-making process. Oh, all right. These are pawns, as in the game of chess, that we can use to our advantage. Additionally, I feel perhaps one day the gods can connect as you do, trust each other once again work in tandem for the good of the mortals rather than fight and scrounge for every divine scrap. The gods who watch provide a template for that experience. And so I will create a convergence, a point in time that echoes throughout all threads. Oh. That will be your actions. What you have done here will be the solidifying point in all threads. And the fate of the City of Glass will be left to the gods who watch. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, I got chills, kind of. Okay, so uh, it's out of hands, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but that does mean it's taken care of, right? If the gods who watch... I will not be able to make the convergence until you leave this plane. 
Oh, well, yes. you are we need ready. a rest, right? We need a Oh, absolutely. I'm already in I'm the like, top bunk. I'm already <laughs> Wait, in what the about the bunk. fire pit? You know, story time? Uh, you but hanging all, out? You don't want to hang out anymore? I want to hang out. I grab my blanket and I get down from the top bunk. <laughs> <laughs> as you're doing that, you sort of hear Zosezeraz, uh He says these words that you've heard him say before. And as he does that, the echo shimmers away and you are left to yourselves. It says... <laughs> You choose, they choose, we choose. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, hey, so is your echo back or what? Is my what? Your echo? My... Your echo! Oh, my echo back. I heard you, you can't understand me or what? <laughs> no, 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 it's going so on here. It's really an uh. <laughs> I heard Reco. Am I not speaking English? No, you're speaking common. No, you're speaking common. No, no. You're speaking common. Is this oh. going to be like a My Fair Lady situation? <laughs> oh, okay, put these in your mouth. <laughs> put these, put these um, pebbles in your mouth. Yeah. What? <laughs> what's, what's, your echo. What's his name? Rillian. Rillian. Apologies. Rillian. Apologies. I'm going to be calling you Ray, and I'm trying not to. Rillian. Yeah, I wrote it down. Uh, I don't know. Um... <laughs> Now that, now that those those are all just gone, um, use my bonus action to summon my echo. Uh, your echo begins to appear, but this is different. As I've described before, on occasion the background can be sort of illuminated, and you see nebula and stars and space. As you summon your echo, little points of light boom, boom, all around you, sort of light and fly together, swirling to form your echo. But it's different now. Uh. Yeah. Knowing what we know now that what the echoes are, and that we are the only timeline that has survived. Oof. Uh, uh, he's saying that out loud, it hurts. Yeah, I mean, that's heavy. Uh, it's, it's, I, I think Val has a clear moment where he realizes that he's looking at a version of himself that didn't make it. Yeah. And um, you... this one, I think, looks like a bitter, angry version of Val, <gasps> who's like almost like teetering like he's drunk. Oof. Wow. Is, is he going to join us in battle? <laughs> I mean, I guess if he's needed. Is there anything you want to say to your Echo? You, we can go downstairs. We can give you some time. Yes. I need to make some kind of goopy, white, blobby things to roast in the fire, so. Great. Yeah. And I need Great. to get that off your face. Yeah. Let's go to the Thank kitchen. Oh, Let's go to the yeah. kitchen. But I mean, it it's looks pretty good on you. Thanks, Rillian. Man, I appreciate it. That's cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, th I think Val's standing there with his echo for a minute and, and, and lets them walk off. Yes, we'll go downstairs in... You want a kitchen? Yeah. Wait, where's the fire pit? It's upstairs? It's upstairs. Yeah, it's in, uh, it's but can we have can two? We, can we, it's like, like one of those recessed, like, like can floors. Can we, <laughs> yeah. we have a downstairs one, too? You know, like one tall. <laughs> also, so many fire pits. Change also, it all. If, if you're making stuff, can you also, make Also, like, a big dirt pile. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm, like... Really, Come on, wizard! Yeah, really wizard it up. I would like to not use stairs. My legs are so tired. <laughs> so we can slide. <laughs> if you could, you know, in the Feywild, sometimes they have these tree trunks that you just get on and you slide down them yeah. into if you just a hole in the floor. Get into his mind. While the team decides what the tower floors look like, because Cristobal did this to himself, <laughs> we've got a glimpse of shadow oh from Tuo Mass. <laughs> And we've got one, two, three, four, five glimpse of light from City Racing Girl. Oh, City Racing Girl. So Cristobal looks at all of you, <laughs> sits down again. And even you. Yeah, okay. And he starts um, uh, once again grooming himself <laughs> and uh, making sure his makeup looks good, his hair is perfectly coiffed. Okay, um, lift the hatch. And <laughs> as you do, there is a um, the like basically a, a, a wooden fire pole that goes straight down yeah. to the next level. Um, 
into which you see is a is a kitchen that also has an open fire, but it's that uh, like dual sided fireplace <gasps> situation. <gasps> so. Uh. And he's it's like, it's like the Downton I mean, Abbey I mean, kitchen. <laughs> you know, soft landing, maybe some foam. Those, uh, yeah, those uh, those stones aren't actually stones. They're made of um, plushy, plush pillows. Gray. Yes, oh, like right. velvet pillows. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's this good, is very good. tiring, just so everyone knows. Yeah, are, they, are this some marshmallows? The no. dirt? There's, yeah, the, the bobs I'm going to make in the kitchen. <laughs> there's, there's no organic material here, so I can't oh. make oh, yeah, I forgot. marshmallows. I have some I interesting things in I mean, my satchel. We'll figure it out. Anyway. I just have seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yes. Let's... I have these like weird pieces of like from the fruit cake. It was like these Ooh. leftover little bits. Of we can roast the fruit cake bits. bits. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it now. Yeah. <laughs> so as the rest of the team, <laughs> well, yeah, good luck. <laughs> as the rest of the team <laughs> finds yeah, their... there's like the squeaking of leather pants. <laughs> You have to you know, I'm upstairs and everybody's downstairs. We are just as they, slide, as they right. slide, down slide down into a pillow fort, basically. Yeah, they slide down into a pillow fort that has a nice double sided nice fireplace. Fire there are some marshmallows and some. Yeah. The, the minute thing. you tell the party you can create anything they want, yeah, uh, they uh, want. You, you get what you deserve. <laughs> you get all what you ask for. Oh, okay. uh, Val is left alone uh, upstairs oh, with his seemingly drunken echo. He, this one is is dressed differently. I mean, I think he's probably in like kind of fancy clothes, but they look kind of just you know are hanging around, and he's he just kind of walks up to it, touches it. It seems to react but just sort of writes itself. As you get closer, roll an investigation check for me. Val, you have advantage from Ashjore. Thanks, uh, Ashjore. Appreciate it. Ooh, that's very good. Oh, very good. Um, investigation is 18. This is you on the beach, drinking your life away. This is what it would have been like. But there's something different. As you get closer, again, you know your echoes don't have full form. They're they're sort of mm. transparent and they have some shape to them and can have shape to them when they're attacking. But as you look at and get closer to the detail, the skin is thicker. Your scales are not as dull. I'm sorry. It nods. You probably didn't know anybody like them where you came from, did you? It shakes its head. Do you want to help or do you want to? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Uh, and he shake. Val shakes his head for a moment, and it disappears. And then there's another one. And each time you're doing this, the lights swirl and return back to their places in the stars. And the next one that you form, those same spots of light are not the ones that form this one. It's different stars in all different directions that pull from the astral edges and reform into your new form. This one is uh, holds himself a little taller and is a little more stately. He looks older and more studied. Hi. Uh. <laughs> and, 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 then there's, and then there's a third that comes, and, and again, as you said, seems to form out of stars in front of him, and this version looks the most draconic. Uh, it's not carrying, he's not carrying weapons. He's wearing a shirt, but it's like torn, just like he almost looks feral. And his hands are outstretched with sharp claws. His skin is more like a dragon than it is a dragon born. Thicker, and, scalier. And this one looks almost ready to pounce. 
fearsome. And it's, even though it still has this feral, rougher look, its scales are shimmering silver, almost like it's stainless steel underneath his clothes. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Probably took a lot to take you down, huh? reaches out, takes his hand, offers his hand. The image ponders it for a moment and stares you in the eyes and then quickly grabs your hand, the hand forming, grabbing your own. You can feel the pressure almost any stronger and he might be breaking your hand. Yeah. You can feel the power. Claws almost dig into his wrist. Yeah. You can feel that power. We're going to make them pay. You see, you don't hear the sound, but it rears its head and lets out a breath attack into the air. Yeah. And as you look down, your hand begins to morph and change. It's not painful. It's not like your bones are are breaking and reforming, but your scales begin to gain shine. Okay. They thicken as it moves up your arm over quick, not very fast, very slow, but where once your scales were these dull silver, they're now these beautiful, almost perfectly inlaid, almost like scale armor itself, beautifully shiny silver as it rolls over your face, completely changing all the scales in your body. And as that finishes, <laughs> uh, Val just sort of takes a moment and looks at his hands and then looks up and there's just sort of a, a nod. And then this feral dragon bolts and are there windows upstairs? Yeah. Flies out a window. Right. And it starts running. Yeah. Running well past 30 feet yeah and still howling up into the air and val watches it go out the window realizing it's gone further than he's ever seen his echo go before yeah and there is a moment as val there's a flash and val can see through its eyes and hear through its ears you hear the sounds of a raging battle as cities seem to be fighting one another for control of the last of the resources. Explosions in the air. The earth itself is on fire. The ground hot and warm, but you are able to withstand it. In the sky, dragons of all colors, you can see through these eyes as they dive amongst each other, clashing in skies, fighting one another. Silver versus chromatic. The tri-cities in the background burn. And I think Val literally is blinded and deafened as he is seeing through its eyes, but he flexes these claws and they come out in his hands as he's just standing there alone in the upper level of the tower. And it keeps running and running until it reaches a thousand feet and then it dissipates. Whoa! Whoa! That's awesome! And your scenes, your your senses return to you uh, in an instant. You realize that you have seen that echoes reality, what they experienced in their timeline. I think Val just sits down. He's and not he's not falling asleep, uh, but he just sits, just takes a moment to himself. And Cristobal has created us um, a backward slide all the way back up. Yeah. And so we're like magically just going back up this slide. It's like an like, okay, Val, like, we yeah. brought the goods. <laughs> just as they're sitting down, they appear. <laughs> From a backward slide, that what? seems what? impressive. Yeah. A back- we're like, backward whoa, slide. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I want to steal like, a moment with me, though. Yeah? Yeah. You're, 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 yeah. I don't know. You feel okay? I feel good. Do you feel beautiful? Because you look beautiful. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I appreciate it. Thank I, you. If you didn't know, 
He was Val. You would swear that he's a dragon. Did someone cast a spell on you? Was uh, those Ezerons up here? To... I mean, in a way. I don't know. But this all seems kind of... I feel like I'm becoming the version of myself that I'm supposed to be. Or maybe it was... That I, was, that I was supposed to be. Meanwhile, downstairs, on the plushy stone pillows. <laughs> so you've come upstairs with me. Yes. yes. And I like you just said that. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm making, so we needed snacks. <laughs> and I got some upstairs, but you right. got some. Well, I have so many seeds yeah. and I have honey, and so I'm making like honey seed granola bars for us. <laughs> you gotta eat. Otto, uh, yeah, and as you're, as yes. you're, cooking, I'll sort of lean in on the side and I, hey, I, I know this is uh, an adjustment, but you know, it's, it's still me. Uh, well, you're Rillian. Yes, yes, I am Rillian, and really, uh, oh, it's all right. It's all right. It's a, like sorry, I said, I'm you got to get Rillian. used to it. I, I, I understand, but you know, I. I open my hands and show the seeds that you've snuck into my stuff. Oh. It's it's still me and in 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 look. Mine. No, no, no. no. There's a pile of seeds. I yeah, I'm just took one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and and in look and and he shows you that the scar from where they cut, you know, oh. to do the blood oath. It's, that's still there, but you could change it. I, I could, but you I didn't. You know, I didn't. It's, it's important. Oh, I'm glad that was important. Yeah, I just, I know I may look and sound different, and then yeah, sometimes I, I a little different sides of me come out. Mm -hmm. But you know. Uh, our friendship, it's still the same. Okay. Um, but so, like, there are different sides of you. And um, I'm, I'm meeting Rillian, but it's still you. Yeah. But, like, what is Rillian, like, into, I guess? What is Rillian like? Uh, is it different than the things that Rhea likes? Or, like, um, do you like the same jokes as Rhea? Or what about you? You're so beautiful. Oh. Um, but also, you're so <laughs> handsome. I, I just, I... I mean, I, I <laughs> you know, I still find the same things funny. I still find you all uh, alluring, you know? And, uh, okay. You know, I think... This is sometimes I think I don't I don't care quite so much when I'm really in trouble. Okay, uh, I, I just forgot something down here. And then, oh, hey, Coco. Hey, Coco, what's up? I'm making nut bars. Hi, right, guys. Uh, there needs to be a change league sitcom. That needs to happen. That needs to happen. <laughs> this is um, <laughs> You know, I, I think it's like, you know, the, the, the like, I, bad boy side of me might come out a little more. It's, uh, sometimes I can get into trouble when I'm really in, <laughs> but I'll try to be on my best behavior because I know we're representing Val and everything. Yeah, but we could get into trouble. That, that sounds actually, we could do crime or something. <laughs> like, I don't know if you like, <laughs> I like stealing stuff. Well, you know, I like being tricksy, so. If you Great. ever want to, you know, steal something together, we could I... probably get up to something. Wait, that sounds so fun. Do you want to go to Val's place? Not to Val, but well, I'm having the best idea. <laughs> okay, and, uh, you know, I've been meaning to say, I, I know that uh, Crystal Ball's been teaching you, you know, magics and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, I'm such great. a good teacher. Um, but if you ever, you know, want some tips and tricks on some of the, you know, tricksier ways of things. You could teach me how to be more tricksy? 
I mean, I could try. Should we steal something from Strix? Oh, oh we should steal something. We from should. We oh. should absolutely steal something. I'm not gonna tell us. I mean, he. <laughs> Coco does have the highest passive perception of all of us. I think she does. She, she, In fact, it'll be like. It's a, I never heard it. Yeah. <laughs> so when it's brought up again, I won't remember. Don't remember. Or will I remember? I don't I have it. I, no, no, no. Give her. Give her. You're in this. Now you're in this. But don't tell about you know because like no. you know he's clearly hung up on. Her. You right. know he's been, it's been tearing him apart. He's it's, very distracted right now. Yeah. He has a new skin. <laughs> Wait what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's what? like, he's like real shiny right now. Wow, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah we're all making yeah, shiny. He's like, he, he has like a glow up. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wait, no, the scales? Yeah. They're different? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. It's like, he's a, it's like he's a changeling, but not. We gotta go okay, see we, him. Let's go we gotta, yeah, we gotta go look at Val. I don't think he's from the Feywild. Well, I don't see okay, let's go. Fey. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, we just go backwards up this slide. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bring my nut bars. Back, it's kind of hot in these pants. Yeah. <laughs> Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> just baby powder. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a blessing and a curse, the little Wow. Val. Val! Hey. Yeah. You look hot, man. Oh, oh thank, thank, thanks, really. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're so shiny. Uh, yeah, apparently. Apparently it's a thing. What happened up here? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, I think it was pa Is this partially like thanks to so Zezeraz, partially thanks to the other versions of me. Is this like dragon puberty? Also, so the rest of you understand, his armor is torn asunder and at oh. his feet. Oh, oh. he's grown these scales. Oh, wow. It's busted his armor off of his oh. body. Sorry, Is this what happens when that. you reach a certain age? No, hang on. No. <laughs> you, I, I live changes. through no, You're I, going through changes. No, it's molting. Look, I've like known a lot of Dragon Balls. That, that's never happened to them. And I went through puberty. Thank you very no, much. No, snakes. <laughs> snakes melt their skin. Uh, yeah, I, oh. I, don't, I can't really think of any other dragons that this happened to. But you're very special. I mean, normally, I mean, my 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 mother and my dad had had nice shiny scales, but they like, you know, they buffed them out. They well, buffed they, them, yeah. Oh. Would you like me to try to fix some of your armor? I can put patches in between it so it will fit I don't you. No, if you need to. Wait, okay. is it stronger? I think it. Can I? Okay, because we're in a rest. Try it. Um, I'm gonna. <laughs> what if I shoot you with my crossbow? <laughs> Crystal ball. <laughs> Do me a favor. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Anything you need. <laughs> Roll perception check. Okay. Boy. You have. I, 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 this is the we're, best night for me. We're okay. gonna I just need to watch. It's just like this is happening. Yeah, um, yeah. Like how durable. Uh, you get advantage from Tim Finn. Oh, thanks, Tim Finn. I'm crying. Uh, we also have. We also have. Three glimpses of light from Debartos. Thanks, oh, Debartos. Not good. Three and four. <laughs> hey. uh, his metal armor on the ground is weird looking. Uh, I mean, sure, take a shot. Okay, I'm gonna stand at the end of the room. We'll, we'll, um, call, we'll call it an excuse because I didn't take any hits during the last fight. I passed out and was basically doing puzzles. What's up? Do you need armor? Oh, do uh Oh. Oh, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of Because I can fix it. Um, I mean, we would wash it. Did you roll a nat 20? It's a breastplate. Oh, okay. we, we would wash it. What'd you roll? <laughs> I rolled a one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Does she have it? Does you she shoot have it? <laughs> oh, yes, uh, that's what I mean. I'm like, what are you rolling? Just I, uh, attack. I'm rolling attack. My oh, you're trying to hit him. Yeah. Uh, got it. Uh, Otto, you have advantage from City Racing Girl. Yeah. <laughs> is it like special armor? Armor? Yeah. I just want to know. Just a breastplate? Breastplate. Uh, 12 plus 7. Still with 19. Us. 19? All right. Uh, Val, a little more quickly, and, a, and, and it does stick into <gasps> the scale. Oh! Ow! That really hurt. Oh, I mean, okay. All your damage. But uh, nine. <laughs> nine, nine points damage. Uh, what it looks like to you is that uh, the scale seemed to deflect it, but oh. into his body, in between oh. two scales. Ah. 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 Oh, no, well, no, I mean, sorry. no, I told you to shoot me, it's oh, fine. Ow. Whoa, 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 
All right. Uh, uh, can I be right there? Uh, sure. I? No, I, I'm, yeah. Look, I, look, we're going to sleep. It's fine. I mean, we're going to go to bed. Yeah. No, we're going to go I'll to bed. Fine. Fine. I, I, I think I'll be fine. Is that going to be in there forever? No. No, no he took it out. And no, he broke it off. But I do get the sense, out. I mean, that was just as, that felt like, I felt like me taking a hit to the breastplate, though, even better, maybe. Really? Like it felt good. Morgan has a Val has a 17 AC now instead of a 16, uh, with no armor at yes. all. I'm with gonna no cast. A, I'm gonna cast a cure wounds <laughs> oh, on you. Oh, okay. Um, the was, part of it that broke off uh, sort of plops out as she. Oh wow! As, as yeah. he, Val he doesn't have to wear Val. any armor, and he still has a 17 AC. Okay. Hard for me. And your body just I know. spells. <laughs> just um, just wow! Oh, thank you. I was wondering. First level's fine. <laughs> yeah, I do. Bed. I do cure wounds with oh. 11 hit points. Could oh, I wow. try to sleight of hand like... Oh, you waste no time. You uh, you want to grab a scale? Yeah, in this <gasps> as I'm healing. Oh. I'm going to get... Like, did, um, did anything get loosened hand. up in that hit? This is not going to be easy to hide from him. And we're all like watching I as well. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, we're all like... Well, I bet she's right. right. Wait, He's sure, sure, right sure. there. Can, does Coco kind yeah. of see what... What, uh, Here's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Roll your sleight of hand. And can I also Everyone do who. Yeah, go ahead. Does, can I also do a deception to. Uh, to see if you get help on that? No, you no, no not to help on oh. it, but just if that goes wrong, I'm still gonna try and spin this another way. Okay, sure. Sure. Mm. Um, sleight of hand first. <laughs> yeah, sleight of hand first. You have advantage from to a mask. Okay. Anyone who would like to see that sleight of hand I mean, or is paying attention, I mean, you I'm, will roll. Coco, if you're rolling, you have. Advantage from City Racing Girl. Oh, thank you. Uh, Valcorio, you automatically have yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, advantage. She's trying to pull it off. Literally off of your yeah. body. Yeah. On something perception? that you can clearly feel. Um, yes, perception. Not um, great. Perception. Anyone else? Yeah, I'm also yeah. looking because I'm, I'm by you. Auto, you're straight. You're straight roll as far as I'm concerned. I'm, I'm helping Gas make the bets. Okay. How good? 18. Okay. 12. 14. What was your sleight of hand? The sleight of hand is 15. Oh, okay. So anyone who got me, higher than me. 15 definitely noticed that they were trying to do something. Now you roll your deception. You have advantage from City Racing Girl. So did they, did you succeed? Ah, he uh, Coco saw it. And what was your roll on perception? Uh, as well. So only Coco saw it. But so, but you succeeded. Okay. But I but I succeeded yes. on the side of hand. The deception is seventeen. Roll another perception check. Or uh, this insight? one insight. 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 Yes, insight. Ah. Advantage. Or and straight. you are straight as far as I'm concerned. So you noticed something, but you're not right I'm sure what it was. I'm trying to sell it like this is part of my match. <laughs> yeah. Something odd sort of happened there. They, they did something strange, but you explained it away as they cast magic. All right, all Maybe patched up. Maybe their wrist up. is tired. Ow. All patched up. Thanks. Yeah. Your know, scales look fine? Yeah, I'm sure they look fine. Mm -hmm. and probably it was not like a full she, one she's missing. Yeah, yeah, she's healing. Yeah, she's healing. Thanks. Yep. Uh, 11, I told you, 11 hit points. Yeah, uh, yeah, Coco okay. picks you up have more damaged. than what I needed. Coco picks <laughs> up the broken arrow part and sticks one of the blobs on there so they can roast them. <laughs> yeah. It's got blood on it too, but yeah, that's. I mean, it's, yeah. Fine. I mean, it's, it's protein. Well, it's good to know. I'm sure it's magical. Yeah. yeah. Would you like a nut bar? Sure, thank you. This yeah. is really nice, Crystal Ball. Yeah. You, you are welcome. A lot of this, and I'm a jester to the ghasts who are still making the various beds. Uh, this is mostly ghasts and ghosts' uh, hard work. How's ghast here? Well, ghast is, um... There is no ghost. Oh, ghost is near? You, you, you have not seen ghost. Uh, ghast, and right now, she is a, um... An extension of you, yes. sort of. Yes, when I leave the tower, ghast, um... Like your echo. I guess. Ghast can't come with me. Guest lives in the tower. Yes, uh, they um, they have to stay here to guard the f your house. No, it is that they are. Um, this is remember how you asked how I make my tower. Yeah. My tower comes from my subconscious and my memories and my. Oh. And so, gas is a very important part of that for me. So yeah. that is why they are here all the time. That makes sense. Um. Yes, I am. I am sorry about what happened out there. That we could not do more to help you when uh, Lumbra went to fight um, Sasha. Sasha, I am not. It's a lot of names. You're good. You're doing, you're doing great. <laughs> it is fuzzy. The memories, as if 
many things happened at once. Are all your memories fuzzy? Yes. This place, it is a well of possibility. Yes. Uh, uh, Yes, yes it is. Um, And I'm going to uh, uh, step forward and um, uh, I'm bothered that you don't remember clearly our time together, is it? I remember many times in conjunction. The one you speak of, you could not help. I went limp when Luminath formed with Umbreth and fought Sasha. Yes. Yes. One moment. Uh, And what you see is parts of her its body begin to sort of and almost as if their face is just slightly changing ever so slightly oh boy yes yes uh, it is not your fault you did not know lumbra inhabited me i part of them was watching. I am thankful for Lumbra for having brought us together. Yes. But no one should be inhabiting you. You are you. You made Rook and Pawn. Yes. My children I don't wish for you to be a memory that I have or a creation of Lumbra's will. I I, I wish for you to be you. Make my own decisions? Yes. Would that not be violating your will? But you tell me that is my will. My will is trumped by your own, or should be. This will anger Lumbra. It may, but that is a uh, decision someone with Free will can make. Progress. 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 (laughs) Oh, we're all here. I don't know what I'm... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) That was my... Thank you. might have melted. (laughs) Cristobal. Yeah, I forgot. (laughs) I choose to be me. Yes. And as she says that, that same... uh, These pieces seem to... They look very geometric. Um, almost as if uh, hundreds of different sides geometry sort of disconnecting. It looks very clockwork, but also sort of um, monolithic in a way, where these pieces seem to come off her fingers, as you've seen them, become those spider-like appendages uh, and sink into her own skull. Ah! Uh, And as she deconstructs (laughs) into what looks like a hunk of metal, she stays. Oh, it looks very similar to a cocoon. Oh. Okay. How big is it? Uh, about five feet tall. Whoa. I mean, it's a big piece, Ooh. and it seems to be. You can hear it. Right. Something's happening. Wow. Okay. She's growing. Yeah. Update. Um. <laughs> Buffering. Yeah. Buffering. Yeah. Floating. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Wait, did she just turn into a cocoon? Yes. Or she, yeah. She's, oh, she. Yeah. There's a spinning wheel. Constructed in the into that. <laughs> this is going. Oh, yeah. Clearly, yeah. she. Yes, yeah, she potato bugged. That's a great way of putting it. Potato bugged. Yeah. Whoa. Really um, way to stick it to Lumbra. <laughs> she will. They will come with us from now on. Amazing. Uh, Are that's you all right? Really good. I have. I have to tell my father what we've learned. Yeah. Is is any backup on the 
I don't know. Or how is that? So worked? Zezeroz said it's up to the. Yeah, I'd look out the window. If you say so, Cesaroz, uh, that same echo sort of forms uh, almost just out of thin air. Ah. Uh, and, um, <laughs> and you need me? I, I need to speak with my father. Could you take him out of the uh, stasis time thing? Before the convergence, you would like to speak to your father? Yes. Alone? Yes. Yes, I will grant you this. Keep in mind, Cristobal, this man may cease to exist. You do not know one way or the other. The gods who watch will decide. All the more reason for me to say what I need to say and speak with him. Understood. You see the echo look and uh, then looks back at you. Now, or would you want me to wait for uh, them? Why don't you do it now? And then I could talk to Coco about something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now would be preferable. <laughs> yes. Uh, he seems to focus for a moment, sidesteps, and transitions away as if he disappears. But as he's sort of jumping back, Gonzalo appears in front of you. Oh, so we should. We should go. Yeah, we're gonna go downstairs again. Here, here take this for your strength. <laughs> it's 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 all toasty. Thank, it's a toasted it group ball. It's very hot. Chew it out. Very <laughs> hot. In your mouth. <laughs> you see, Gonzalo is clearly moving in that very slow motion way. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's not. His consciousness isn't here, but it's clear that. Okay. They're waiting for you. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. We're right. going to go down. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> I think Val last hangs back and just like, you're doing really great. You notice that more seeds in your pocket. Thank you. Okay. Whatever he says. <clears throat> oh, Cristobal. Ah, I'm glad you're here. We have so much to do before I take the throne. Yes, um, I am sure you're going to make an excellent governor. Well, with people like you at my side, I will be... I will not be at your side. Oh. You are leaving? Yes. Um, there is much that needs to be done. And uh, it is only I and my friends that can accomplish it. I see. Well, it's... I will have ball. Um, oh. So, God. I will what, be fine. What, what? Why did you... What is wrong? With Why you? did you have me? I don't understand. It's something I have never understood. I needed an heir. As all of those in the merchant. You, you know this, Christopher. It's not, you could have... You could have adopted an heir. You could have um, fostered one. There was... What is wrong? Speak to me plainly. Have I hurt you? No. But you've also not caused me joy? Or given me hope? Or helped me in any way? And I have not said anything because I thought that the more I worked and the more I tried to improve, you would find something in me to care about. But you, you don't. And part of that is not your fault. That is not who you are. You are not a warm person. You are not a caring person. And that is not your fault. 
but it wasn't fair to me. I should not have first experienced love from something that does not feel. I have learned that my mother still lives. You know who your mother is? Yes. Well, tell me, boy. Even I do not know this. Why? I wish uh, Christopher. <laughs> this place has taught me something I should have done long ago. You're right. I was uncaring. I was concentrating on work. I was confused. I have no memories of your birth. I have no memories of your mother. I have no memories of the joy of bringing someone into this world. You were like a responsibility. But this plane has made me realize I have been robbed. We both have been robbed. We have been robbed of the relationship of a son and a father. I am not unfeeling, Cristobal. I created Ball because I missed you. Because not seeing you or hearing your voice in the halls when you were failing or otherwise tore me apart. It's as if I had no reason to continue. I am sorry that I did not see that before I died. And I am sorry for being the source of your pain cannot live with the idea that you have no hope because of me. You are the hope. You saved this realm. Your actions, not mine. Yours. Things that you learned on your own without my hand to guide you. That is all any father can hope for their child. That they learn and grow in their own and become their own man. I am sorry that who I am is not a part of you. I'm going to slowly walk towards him and hug him. Yeah, he immediately, as soon as you make the first move forward, he joins you clearly in, in a feeling you've never felt before, that he has clearly never felt before. It's as if it's a magic that you have never... You know a lot about magic. He knows a lot about magic. And this is a moment... that is just magic to both of you in that moment. I'm, I'm sorry for what I said. You are only saying the truth, my boy. That does not make it any less difficult to hear. No, but it is what I needed to hear. I have learned not only of my mother's existence, but that they are the ones who cause us to have no memory of my birth, or of her, or... I am going to find her. He pulls from his pack what looks like a silver necklace. The pendant is in the shape of a teardrop. Beautiful sapphire, as perfect as a sapphire can be. Small, uh, are you familiar with the, what is it, they're, they're called drops of, uh, 
No, they're they're um, they're a glass bead that you can break, and when you break them, they shatter. I forgot what they're called. Draw. Uh, somebody out there is going to know, and I can't remember. If they look like teardrops. You okay. you you quickly heat uh, blown gl or dripped glass, and it creates a tail. And that tail, if you snap it, the whole thing shatters. Yes, almost I, I do know what you're talking about. Um, sure, okay. It looks like one of those. Where you could shatter a piece of it and it would shatter, and he he holds it in his hand. The day I remember your birth, or what I remember as your birth, you cried loudly, and I woke at a start in shock, not knowing what had occurred or happened. I was holding this in my hands. I don't know what it is, and I don't know why I've kept it so long. But I think it is for you to have. I'm, I'm going to find her. And I will get my memories and your memories back, and we... We will, we will know. We will. I believe you can do what you say, Cristobal. You are more than me. I am proud of you. And as he says that, he dissipates back into into the ether. Emma slowly put the necklace on. Uh, Prince Rupert. A, Prince. Point, a drop of Prince Rupert. Um, it's a sapphire? Yes. Sapphire glass. <laughs> guys. Uh, and then he's going to collect himself and then Go downstairs. Actually, he's not because a uh, gas cocoon is still right mm -hmm. there. So he's instead mm -hmm. he's going to sit next to the cocoon oh. and wait. Yeah, yeah, that's good. The rest um, of you, go. Uh, uh, by the fire pit. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Do you have something? No. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> <clears throat> smoke. All right. <laughs> and. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm picturing that you're like an actor who's like been yeah. forced to smoke in a role, but not a smoker in real life. <laughs> like that you're holding it wrong. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. never like, smoked in their life what before. What you notice though is also like the cigarette's like not lit, but somehow I'm just exhaling smoke. <laughs> the change I didn't bring along the smokers. No. Now. But yeah. then, uh, as we're like around the fire, the the oven. The oven. The two-sided fire thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? We're on one side. Um, I'm going to look into the flames. I'm going to, like, inhale some of the smoke that's in there and exhale different shapes. You see, like, different towers that come out, like the different towers that have been in the city of glass. And uh, there's an image of Baron Megalon that sort of appears in the smoke. And I would love to cast divination right now. Oh. oh. Breaking it out. Sorry, Ron. No, oh. no, 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 no. This stuff I love. So this bad. stuff I love. This is what I love. I did not prepare, but I love it. <laughs> well, I'm I have, just I have gonna an ask idea. a simple idea. Yeah. what's well, only one question. So yeah, uh, yeah. For those at home, divination is a fourth level uh, divination spell. Uh, your magic and an offering put you in contact with a god or god's servants. You ask a single question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity to occur, to occur within seven days. The GM offers a truthful reply. It might be a short phrase, a cryptic rhyme, or an omen. It doesn't take into account any possible circumstances that might change the outcome, such as the casting of additional spells or loss of gain of a companion. If you cast this more than once, uh, there's a community failure. We'd like a haiku. Please, <laughs> no, hold on. There's no. Oh, God. There's no. Oh, God. There's no. I did make Jeff uh, rhyme. 
that in ascending five. spell one. <laughs> <so> <laughs> one. <laughs> so, knowing that it's only covering seven days, um, but I guess even if there is no answer or whatever, I'll, I'll still get an answer. Yes. I'm gonna ask. Um, when will Baron Medulon arrive at the Lake of Dreams? Good question. Good question. Such a good question. How Baron long do we have? Medulon. And can we just put a bed of spikes there? Wherever he comes. Bugs Bunny trap. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I, I only trap. Excellent. Excellent You're idea. You're in meditation getting this. I need a little time to prepare. Yeah, yeah, go for it. So if we have another scene that we want to yeah, go Yeah, so through. Coco, can I talk to you in this corner? Sure. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just keep, like I'm getting a close. I was say, yeah. I'll, I'll watch him. Don't worry. Okay. Um, by the way, can I ask real quick? Yeah. Where has Slushy gone? Uh, Slushy is, you just cast him and he returns. Okay, great. Okay, so I I just uh, wanted real quick to just uh, sl- go up the slide. Yeah. <laughs> to, go, to go check on Crystal Ball. Yeah. Hey, Crystal. How you doing? Good. You a good talk with your dad? Yeah. Yeah, and you see him playing with a, a sapphire necklace. Ooh, that's pretty. It is. <laughs> Do you want me to help you put it on? Yes. Okay. Yes. I have very nimble fingers. Here. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, 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 God. Yes. Uh, <laughs> is, this too, is this too long? No, no that's great. <laughs> okay, good. It's really nice. It's very beautiful. Thank you. On your decollete. I think it... I think uh, my father gave it to me. Oh. Well, it's very special then. I believe so. I did want to offer, since guest is in... A potato bug egg. I thought I could call Slushy. Maybe it's like a real egg, and Slushy could keep it warm and hatch. Gassed. I I I appreciate yeah, that offer. <laughs> that, is a, that is so sweet. <laughs> that is an excellent and thoughtful the weirdest, suggestion. Weirdest, sweetest thing I've um, ever heard. Uh, unfortunately, gassed is um, mechanical in nature and does will not. It needs time to um, reorganize itself for the task ahead. So, but while you, but you know, when sometimes I've seen some technology, it's very slow when it's cold. I'm just saying. I. Yes. Okay, slushy. Okay. Just, just say yes. <laughs> so you cast your summon yes. spirit, yes. Uh, and as you've seen before, sort of a cold wind begins to blow, uh, and you feel that frigid air sort of start to solidify into a large yes. uh, so, winter wolf. So, ah! Hi! 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 Uh, this place changed. It's one of the better towers that Crystal Ball has made. What is that? And he looks at what is... Mm-hmm. Uh, um, uh, that is my friend Gast. I don't r- know if you have met them. <laughs> I, I think so. The may- metal woman yes. with fingers? Yes. Yes. Um, they are uh, um, Inside. preparing to come with us. Oh, great. Yes. Do you think that you could wrap your body around Gast and keep Gast warm so all of their mechanical insides and powers and their technology and their wheels can turn properly so that they can come out? Is that what you want? Yes. I'm going to do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go talk to Otto. But okay. okay. I'll be here when you're back. Tell okay. Otto I said hi. I said. we got a new ride soon. Okay. Uh, so... Here's a fun fact. Yeah. Uh, no. These rooms are only 100 square feet. <laughs> oh, oh, so we're all like up on each other's Yeah, business. exactly. And it's just like, like so Slushy takes we're up like 60% of the room. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. outside. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 100 square feet is not that. That's it's not. It's 10 by oh, 10. 10 by 10. Yes. Oh, he not. takes up four by two, two by two. Oh, right. oh yeah. <laughs> plus the right. beds. Square yeah. feet. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, it's gonna be fine, Cristobal. Okay, your and childhood bedroom. Sorry about the, <laughs> sorry about the smoke. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> can you can you move a fan? Like yeah. some kind of. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, I'll go back downstairs while Slushy is uh, wrapped around. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Um, so downstairs, quick question, because it is uh, much smaller than I anticipated. Um, <laughs> so um, I have a clarifying question. Sorry, one second. Apologies. Clarifying question: Which God or mm-hmm. God's servants are you asking? It's a good question. It's a good question. I was wondering the same thing. I wasn't. But you I can write it down and tell me thoughts. if you don't want to say it out loud. You That's a note. Out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. Continue. Apologies. Uh, okay. Um, so the room is like, is it foggy? Is it just like cover? Is it like all? Can is everything obscured in this room with your smoke? Uh, I mean, there's it's a window. There, there is a chimney. I would have Val opened a window. <laughs> and there's a chimney. But then there's an outside. So. Yeah, there's yes. definitely yeah. an outside. I'll say with the divination like spell, I want it to be sort of like enough smoke to make cool. a scene sure. type okay. of thing. But we go outside. You two are the best at stealth as well, so I'm sure you're fine. Just go outside. If we didn't want you to know we were going outside, you would You know. wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> it's fine, I guess. I mean, I know if I said, hey, it's Otto, mostly, and you want that. It's mostly because if we're missing, we want you to you guys, you want to know we're outside. No, it's fine. Just go. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, we're fully outside, out of earshot. Okay. It's just you and I. What's up? It was so embarrassing, but I feel like you're the only one I can tell this to. Okay, tell me. So, like, um, I'm gonna, I'm just speaking of hypotheticals. And I'm just gonna help you understand what I mean. Um, I probably won't, but go. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so, like, you know, when you're from the Feywild, right? Yes. Yes. And things are different in the Feywild, right? Yes. So, like, if you like hypothetically in a, like a pretend situation that is not my situation, had a crush on somebody from the Feywild, what do you do? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> interesting question. Yeah, like, um, so like, ah, like, if you were like, hey, like, what, what? What's this? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're my mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of like a stress thing now. Whenever I'm feeling anxious, I kind of rub the monocle. Because Nagrok was brought back by Grim Faded, I'm pretty sure the monocle has Grim Faded's name on it. I mean, it's. it's I mean, y'all have not really gone in to see what's no. there, but as you're looking you at his monocle, <laughs> sure enough, like, oh, right in the edge of it, it seems to be etched perfectly. Grim faded away. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tap, tap, tap. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so like, I don't know, what do I do if you were me in a situation where you were like, hey, person, that is not here. Definitely not here. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Uh, well, what is it that you like? I mean, the Feywild is different, but it's also kind of the same. It's just a little bit weirder. So, like, I just... Um, so, in in Owlin culture... Yes. We, um, we gift each other... Um, so, there's a series of stones we gift each other. Um, from the most the common stone to the most precious stone. But the stones differ based on our sentimentality on the stone. So someone's most common stone might be someone's most precious stone. Well, do you know it's, what this person, like when they were born, do they have a stone that's like I don't somehow know, connected to- I don't know, but also they got a lot of stuff going on, so I don't really understand their deal and, and how- What if you gave them, if you're gonna go with stones, just go with me on this. Okay, yeah. Okay. Nope. I know it was hypothetical. Well, I'm yeah, just saying, I know you have like, a lot of me. stones. It wasn't me, it's not me. No, no. Oh, right. I know this person might have a lot of stones. <laughs> okay. So maybe to gift to that other person, because yeah. those are important in, in this hypothetical, in hypothetical Alan culture. Yeah, in Alan culture. Um, anyway, um, you could just chip off like little pieces of all of them because you won't really know but it'll be a beautiful array and you can like fashion it into a beautiful picture maybe of their face are you good at art <laughs> no i'm pretty medium at art <laughs> okay you could i could help you okay. you could use seeds and little pieces of the stone and make a beautiful like mosaic kind of thing and then somehow like Make it so it like you can shake it up and it moves into something else because they wild. It's an um, sketch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, that's really 
Interactive. Interactive. Fey wild people like interact. So, okay, okay, yeah, okay. So, uh, any gift I, my friend, gifts are good. Makes should have an interactive quality yes. to it. Yes. <laughs> I think I think Hugo just described a macaroni. <laughs> That's kind like of what they shifting. It shifts and moves. Or those or those where you like move the pencil shavings yeah. like yeah. around. No, like the macaroni. Are you guys doing the face of beer? Yeah, the face of beer. Like the mosaic. Beautiful. I'm looking forward to the next like study session Cristobal and Otto have. And be like, oh, so what are you working on? That's very. Don't look at this. Okay, sorry. What you as you all are in your different places. As you guys outside can even hear this, uh, where wherever you two are. I'm, uh, I'm keeping an eye on Ray. Rillian uh, 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 is sort of, uh, the eyes sort of rolled in the back of their head and they're playing with this smoke that comes out of their... I don't know what he's uh, doing, so I'm just going like to like it. And like as, it. as they finish their ritual, clearly smoke, casting smoke. a spell of some sort, um, you hear come from their mouth, Call me soon. I'll tell. One week to wait. He will be. A red moon will come. And that's a haiku. I know it is, buddy. Oh my god! Wow! Challenge. I knew that I said it. It was a joke, but Ron was like, "I'm gonna do it." I'm doing it. What other DM gives haikus on demand? Guys, guys, come on! I don't get that from you. Oh yeah, I'll get that from you. I'll get that. So that voice comes out of Rillian. Yep. Do what? I recognize that voice? I, we, go, we go, we go, we go to the window. We go. Like, what? Uh, Valcorio, you have advantage from Orpheus, Acolyte of James. Thanks, Orpheus, Acolyte of James. Uh, Crystal Ball, you have advantage from City Racing. Girl. Oh, City Racing. History, History you said. You. History. Seventeen. <laughs> sure. Not one. Oh wait, I have advantage. Oh, wait, advantage. 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 So bad. <laughs> He has a roll above a six. All right, so, well, that's an 11. <laughs> uh, it's very, it, it sounds very disconnected, almost like a fan, somebody saying something in front of a fan. Oh, I, oh, I am your father. Um, you nail that as Faelshin's voice. But we don't. We don't. No, the rest of you heard it, but don't recognize it. <laughs> what, what does that mean? What, 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 what is that? Uh, I, I don't know. Can you uh, make any sense of that? I, I, did one that come week, out of your brain? Said something wow. about a red moon. Call me soon, oh. I'll tell. One week to wait, he will be. A red moon will come. But what mean, is all this in reference to? Like I, I, like... I asked if, if Baron Medjelon, when when he would arrive at the, the Lake of Dreams. So, so we've, got, week, a, we've week, got a week. We got a week. We got a week. Oh, God. That was such On the, a short the time, eve of a red moon out. is when he will arrive? Mm -hmm. is that... Yeah, there, are there red moons in your world? Are uh, there? I mean, there. <laughs> there are red suns. Suns. I mean. Yeah. Oh, right. Red sun. <laughs> oh, so that means that yeah. Red there's moon. the blood moon that comes. Um, uh, okay. That's when. No. <laughs> the blood moon, there's a red moon that comes what twice a year or something like that. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There's red moons, blue moons. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. it is. It is very clearly a uh, a call to the red sun. Got the it. Moon. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Okay, Last time I there was won't. a red sun, it was bad. It did. Uh, magic was uh, crazy. Uh, yes, magic was very hard to control. Suddenly my elemental abilities skyrocketed while everything else was uh, difficult to Kaboom. reach and touch. Oh. Yeah, I, I was just trying to, you know, get some information. No, sure. It doesn't always work, but uh, it's I sometimes think it, a little cryptic. Like why did you sound like Faelshin? What? Faelshin? That what? was what that was? No! As he says that, you're like, oh yeah, that was Faelshin. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, it was hard with your I accent. Guess, like, is that what I sounded yeah. like? That's what you sounded like. I, uh, I, I, I just heard it in my mind. I guess. Are I you guess that's too. Am no. I fail? No, 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 I, I no just, the mammoth would I, be there. Right. I just wanted to check. You've been changing a lot. Yeah. No. The, fair enough. No. I. I'm. I'm really in down by that. Uh huh. Sorry. So you were saying. Oh, I, I just, I heard it in my head. I, I, I guess that's who answered. Your message. Yeah, you know, I, I, I put it out there to uh, that's whoever cool. may uh, 
he can Answer. hear you <laughs> from I, here. Well, no, you did a thing, a spooky no. thing. Doesn't doesn't strike you no, as odd. No, he, you can hear him. He can hear you from here. But uh, smoky. So even after Lumbra and Tasha no longer have a place here. Oh yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> open the window. Actually, really actually, I go. <laughs> Just inhale oh, it all that. That's, oh. that's probably really yep. not good for you. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Lumbra and Tasha are no longer here. This is just the astral dragon's domain, and yet Faelshin. Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why Faelshin ends it. Maybe. Oh. Okay. I I, I thought as uh, Zezera said that he was going to let Lumbra stay. Yes, but he is not He's here yet. He's leaving it up to yeah. those who watch. Right, right, right. Um, well, anyway, it seems like we uh, at least know a little bit of a time frame. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, that's Good. important. Yeah. So we have a week. That's... I mean, but what if it's not... What if, what if everybody's idea of a week isn't the same length? Oh, okay. Are you saying that because you're 430 years old? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you, thought, again, we, I'll read you it again. thought we forgot that. Just to clarify, oh. I'll read it again. <laughs> Call me soon. I'll tell one week to wait. Oh. He will be. A red moon will come. Maybe it's oh, implying I, that you have to call again right. in a yeah, week. Yeah, I might need that. <laughs> yes, I think, call you know what? Oh. Now, upon, upon you repeating yeah. it, yeah, I think I might have to, to ask Phone again. I, I put a reminder. I think we've got like a little extra your... time, actually. I, I'm only able to. Oh. That's so good, because a week, I Because divination I do can, this so far. Yeah, can only, I can only see within. And you also you know, know how to summon him. So it's more than a week. Yeah. It's more than a week. At least a week. Yeah, at the yeah. very least a week. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so that's mm. that's good. And then yeah, I'll yeah, check yeah, again. Yeah, I'll right. check again and, and yeah. And All right, so days. we have some time. And then you can handle this for me. I'm excited uh, to do that now? Yeah, can you hear me? I would love to because it's really weirding me out. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to catch. So are we going inside? Yeah, I crawl into the window. Oh, yeah. 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 Coco summons, uh, summons um, a really an outside. <laughs> Oh, me? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I guess I'm Coco! I guess I'm in. Coco! Coco! What? Let's handle this one first and then we'll do it. Yeah. I'm going to cast Identify. So I'm going to do it uh, ritualistically. So what I'm doing is I'm taking Otto's hood, I'm flipping it off of them, I'm looking at their feathers, I start preening their feathers around the eye, I start, you know, uh, slightly applying makeup and mascara, okay. and yeah. That's a Roll a uh, uh, d20 for me, and add your spell casting. <laughs> Val's keeping a close eye. Uh, first of all, you have advantage on, red, uh, you have advantage from Red Robin. Red Yay, Robin! Red Robin. Yum. 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 Thank you. Um, we'll see. <gasps> Nat 20. Nat 20, oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're looking at this thing, uh, and you're, you know, the, just as with any magical item, you have to attune to it, yes. which is really like a relationship. You're sure. establishing a relationship with the magic. With the magic. Uh, and as you do so, it's like sticking your hand in sludge. Oh, no. Uh, it feels gross. Oh, no. Which immediately tells you this item's cursed. Yeah. Mm. Uh, as you look at the name on the side of it, something pops in your head. This name, Grimfaded. And as you say it in arcane, phonetically, when you say Grimfaded, but in the arcane language, in the phonetic of that language, mm -hmm. it pops right off his face. You realize that this you, and in your mind, you realize this monocle gives someone plus two charisma, but only if they've murdered someone in the last hour. Whoa! In the hour? I this mean, is I'm perfect for you. That's so, a so in order to, <laughs> in in the curse is what? once you put it on, you cannot take it off uh -huh. and, <laughs> until you murder someone. I just happened to figure it. Correct. Right. You okay. just happened to to say that and pop it off her, off his but face. That wouldn't happen again. But that would not happen again. Because plus two to charisma. Yes, but only if, if you someone killed within someone hour. within the last hour. Okay. And so once you put it on, for an hour. no, once you put it on, it is plus two charisma. Okay. The only way you can uh, take it off or reactivate it is by killing. By murder. Someone. Whoa. Um, sorry, I did one one I've last killed. clarification. Right? Yeah. So um, Otto oh, puts wait. it on. They yeah. have plus two charisma. D but they it doesn't have to be. Right, if they murder someone. Yes. Okay, so they don't get plus two unless they murder someone. Yeah. Correct. Otherwise, it's just on their face. Right. Really, Got the it. monocle doesn't. 
I mean, you know, I, I think it would add some charisma just for I'm not one. I mean, I mean it's yeah. nice. To look. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't actually give them any yeah, magical power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if anybody's wearing it, it would probably be you or me. But Because we've killed <laughs> so, God damn murderers. So, uh, Fighter in the rogue. Yeah, I mean. Uh, so, um, now, just to be clear, it is a evil act that must occur. It's you murder. can't just be killing someone in defense. Right. Right. You have to murder. kill them. Uh, it has to be murder. an evil act. <laughs> so, okay. no, I, so, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm plucking their eyebrows, and yeah. then on the last one, my, my, <laughs> my, uh, <laughs> my <laughs> tweezers pull the monocle off. Oh. Uh, and I keep it in the tweezers, and I say, this is a dangerous thing. It will make you more um, appealing. Hot. Um, but only if you have taken someone's life in an act of violence within an hour. So, like, killing people. Y- yes. But, but like, we, we, we fight people all the time, like that? N- well, not in self The magic says an innocent. Yeah, it would have to be someone... <laughs> Who has not oh, transgressed excuse against you? It has to be what? innocent. It has to be an innocent Some, person. We have, to, not, we have to throw that away. Oh, I mean, it. I would like to study it. I'm not going to wear it, but I'd like to study it. And this, you know, um, our friend who trades in things might find this to be quite valuable. That's, re- Good uh, point. that's really smart. Yeah, you should keep it. Good I don't want point. that in anywhere near me. Yeah, no, I will I will hold on to it and not wear it. Fast forward 20 napkin. episodes, Cristobal's wearing the monocle and got the gauntlet on. <laughs> 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 and all of a sudden, he <laughs> looks like Baron of the He's got tattoos. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Maybe Pierce. <laughs> but, um, Putting so my he, money down on he that. He pulls out one of his handkerchiefs. He puts the monocle in it with the tweezers, still not touching it. Wraps it up. That's a good puts idea. it away in. Um, Thank you for put, put this in your bag of your magical bag. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot I had a magical bag. Um. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. I I would like to study the other things that you took from him. I'm curious to see what that might be. Oh, the seeds, yes. Absolutely. Well, no, no, I believe I have clothes, I have his hat. A sword and a shield. Oh, from Nagrok. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I thought you meant no, from Failsen. Yeah. Like... Uh, we will do that when we have more time, but for right now, I'm I'm glad your face is back to your face. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Are we ready to transition? Yes. 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 Uh, do, uh, yes. Don't put magical items on your face don't until do we've that. studied them. Okay. Yeah, we have to study them first. Yes. And then we can Especially wear them. Especially if you Maybe, got them yes, off okay. an undead bad guy. I didn't think he was magical. I, 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 I truly, I, I, understand. I reacted. I know. <laughs> there it is. There's Shine, your truth. Shiny yeah, thing. I, just, I reacted. That was me. I, okay. you know, I just need to own it's up. Fine. Yeah. It's who you are. It's yeah. what makes you so powerful. <laughs> There's magic stuff I need to talk to you about later. We nope. can talk about it later. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are we good? Or? Yeah. yeah, no, we're good. Oh, sorry. So good. No, we're so okay. good. You want to have the gun? Yeah. Oh, Outside. Yeah. Meanwhile. Okay. Meanwhile. Yeah. Oh, my God. Walk with me. Walk uh, with me to the edge of the Yeah, yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Am I, uh, <laughs> am I in trouble here? <laughs> what? Am I in trouble? I don't know. Are you? Uh, okay. Uh, you want to... Tell me what this is about. <laughs> okay, this new form as Rillian, whatever last name, I don't remember what it was. Donrud. Mm-hmm. Um, is this like your true form? No, I, 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 sh- I showed you my true form. Which was? I, you know, the... Weird looking tall lanky white hair. Okay, but you've never like shape shifted into something shorter? You you want me to be shorter? With like a Is proclivity it... for hats? <laughs> no? Roll wisdom. <laughs> oh. I know, yeah, I know what you I know what she's talking mm. about. Yes. I, I'm giving <laughs> I think Josephine I'm... the opportunity to also know that as, as really Not nice. 20. Oh, uh, you, you're at first confused, but in the back of your head, something is very familiar to you. Uh, uh, the Red Cap Army is who she is referring to. You think I'd want to look like one of those guys? 
Well, I don't know. I mean, all the other things that you've been are very sexy, but yeah, I mean, you know, I like the I like to keep it sexy. <laughs> but maybe it's because really, truly, you're one of those no, guys with I, the hats on, and you just are living a fantasy and all these other. I'm no. Who no, sent I, you I here? <clears throat> nope. Like, why didn't you like me at first? Okay. Oh my god. I'm well, not in this scene. <laughs> no. Yeah, you may want to. We both know us. that we are both earbuds. from the same world, right? Yes. But you don't seem to remember anything about where you've come from or what you were sent here for. Or, or like, if you're following someone's orders, like, I don't know that. So how am I supposed to trust you? Not everyone in the Feywild is a fan of me. So I thought that you could be a danger to me. And I still don't know, you might be because you can't remember anything, if, if that is true. It's true, I don't remember very much. I did, so you're not one of those red cat guys, for real. <laughs> I'm not here. It's fine. I am not a red table? cap. I am not okay. a red cap. I promise you this. If we see a red cap, um, it, let me just, I don't know. How do I even, you know what? My, my fate at this point is already in your hands. You know what I look like. You know what I am. I'm trusting you. Uh, red caps. I, I've I've been running from red caps for for years. Oh my gosh, me too. Oh my god, they're the worst. They're the absolute worst. They smell so bad. Yeah, I you know I never stopped to smell them, but I, I guess you're right. Just saying. I mean, if you're in and around them, sometimes. Well, okay. Why are they after you? Um. I mean, you know, they just want me to sort of be friends with them, I guess. Inside check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deception check. <laughs> Sorry. Guys. Uh, you're both a straight roll as far as I'm concerned. Oh, that was trash. You got that twenty. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely okay. telling you the truth. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, don't. Don't uh, don't tell them anything about me. I guess. Well, I won't tell them anything about you. Just don't tell them where I am. Yeah, I will never have a conversation with a red cap. Well, sometimes they just kind of show up. Yeah, if they show up, I'm punching it in the face. Okay. Okay. Well, at least we have that covered. Yeah. Wait, did you say you knew my my uncle Glentar? Oh, is he Glentar? <clears throat> uh, well, you know. I, I, I don't I don't know him personally. I, I've uh, I've heard of him, you know, his trains rangers, druids. But you'd never heard of me. No, no, sorry. Okay. Uh I, you know, I, I I kept to my circles, you know. How did you get out of the fate world? <laughs> like how long have you not been there? Uh, I, you know, time was weird down It's here. so weird. I, I, I really can't answer that. Yeah, that was know. a weird question. It doesn't mean anything to me. Okay, so, are you going to go back there? <clears throat> uh, no, probably not. Okay. How about you? I mean, I don't, I don't really want to go back there. Well, how come? I just, I don't want a job there. They like, I have to do stuff there that I don't really like and, oh, and um, it has to do with like, just courts and stuff, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> you work with the courts? Um, kind of? I'm surprised we don't run into each other. 
Well, what did you look like when you were there? Um, well, uh, I guess it depends. Um, Although even if you explained it, I don't know that I would remember. I'm only, I have, right. I only Wait, remember pieces, remember? Of, well, I only remember things, okay, so we're friends now? Yeah, remember we did the whole blood cutting. Okay. I was still on the fence after that, but I get it now. Well, okay. Look, okay, you, you know, uh, very, <clears throat> basically, if you wanted to, you could get me killed at this point, so. Why would I want to do that? I'm glad to hear you say that. Um, Wait, I was do you want to get me killed? No, I'm just saying you should trust me at this point. Okay. Did you ever meet Queen Lab? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you like her? Uh, no. Okay. How about you? No. D to which part? The first part or the second part? Sometimes both. You've sometimes never met her? No, sometimes, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sometimes I like her and sometimes I don't. Oh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> what's, your, what's your relation to her? Do you know? Well, like last time I saw her, I thought she was trying to trick me, you know? Yeah, probably. And my brain, my head hurt so bad. I just needed to get out of there. Huh. And she was asking me to do stuff. Uh-huh. And I was sort of acting like I hadn't ever seen her before, but also then I would forget who she was, like in another split second, like I just didn't remember who she was. Um, um, do you remember what she asked you to do? Yeah. And then Coco takes out her jar of worms. The worm immediately begins to slam itself against the wall of the jar oh. in your direction. Remember these? Yeah, I remember those. Um, let's keep those. Put a, okay, what did she ask you to do with those? Can we not, let's not open the lid. I'm not going to open the lid. Okay. Um, like put them places in the ground? Plant them and make big uh -huh. worm gardens with you know, soil. And... They make fairy circles. Oh, so I did it for a while, but I yeah. I regret okay. it. I regret it. Oh, okay. I think I regret it. Sometimes it seems like a really good idea because the soil and the earth that we've seen in the last while has not been ideal. Yeah, I, I can't pretend to know what she's up to. Okay. Um, but if you see her, just don't tell her I'm... Just go with me, if, if I pretend I don't know her. Yes, yeah, same. Ditto, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, yeah. I will not act like I know her if we ever have to come in contact with her. Okay, good. Okay, great. We're on the same page. Yeah. Okay, cool. Is that all? You, is that why you called me out here? Well, we haven't talked about it yet. Yeah, I know. I know. Do you I have questions for me? I mean, it sounds like you can't remember anything. Oh, that's true. Should we go back inside? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. sorry. It's really hard to do. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. That was fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> I loved every minute. Of that. Oh. So good. Sorry. <laughs> good talk. Good talk. Good talk. That was awesome. Sorry. I'm guys. tired. Uh, they come inside. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, what you doing? I'm just eating a nut bar. <laughs> These nut bars are pretty good. Thanks. You ready? I'm glad that it, they're crunchy, so you couldn't you couldn't probably hear anything while you chewed them. No, nah, I've been chilling. Uh, we've been, yeah. Yeah, we've just been hanging out. Also, okay, the cool. sound coming out of Gast's cocoon or whatever it is is kind of, you can just sort of hear it whirring and clicking in the background. I think Slushy is also snoring. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I would bad. like to be snoring. I'm going to go upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the yes, room is ready. Oh, yeah. 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 You have to snoring. use the slide backward because yep. he's arrested. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody's going to sleep. Yep. Yeah. Great. Squeak. Squeak. Is it bunk beds? Yep. 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 Somebody can have my top bunk though, because sure? there's only four of them and, and there's five of us. But I'm gonna go spoon slushy, I'm I'm spooning guest. I'm I'm worried. I don't know if these make me heavier. I'm gonna sleep on the bottom bunk. 
I don't want to. <laughs> if you're sleeping, if you're sleeping on the floor, you said. Yeah. And then I will just go like this, and the top bunks will just g- 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 into the walls. Wait. Wait, what? They want uh, the bottom. They want oh, the, the bottom. Want the top bunk. Oh, the walk. bottom bunk. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I just want to be well, I'm, in, I'm in the wall. <laughs> you only need four beds now. Right, right. right. Eight, okay. So All right. Oh, you had eight? Yeah, they're bunk beds. So there's one, two, three, yeah. four. Oh, got it, got, got, got it. Fancy. Oh, four sets. Mm. Fancy boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take a, I'll take a top bunk. Okay. Yeah. Bottom bunk near guest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Should we sing our favorite bedtime song? <laughs> so as you <laughs> sleep, what? Uh, as you bed down, the world shifts. Oh. Your fears, the things that you think of as you're going to bed at night, sort of settle in your brain. And as that happens, as you slowly begin to drift off into your various forms of sleep, the world goes dim. The colors melt away from your consciousness. The sound bending and swirling into a deafening silence. You feel weightless as your conscious self is removed from your body. You feel the tether of time loosen around you. You find yourself cascading away from the heart of a singular convergence point, a stationary nexus in the great tapestry of time, you see a giant two-headed astral dragon surrounded by motes of light and shadow. They are in debate. Mm. Your senses are heightened to the thrilling sensation of the cosmos running past, rushing past you, the universe yielding to your impossible journey. The vibrant threads of time, intertwined like cosmic serpents, dance before your eyes, giving off an ethereal glow that seems to paint a path. Like echoes whispering tales of the past, present, and future, they hum with the wisdom of ages as you plunge into the undulating river of time that sends you spiraling back through the epics. The world morphs and melds as you travel like watercolors bleeding under parchment. Scenes from the past unfurl like rapid flipbook, each unique and interconnected. Various versions of all of you. You witness the rise and falls of kingdoms, the birth and death of stars, and the hidden dances of time, all playing out in a silent symphony of creation and destruction. Then abruptly, you find yourself drawn towards another convergence, similar to the one you left, but cloaked in an ominous haze. This murky convergence seems tainted. Its vibrancy leached away, leaving a corruption that clauses, claws at the edges of your senses as you merge. You land not with the softness of a feather, but the harsh grip of reality snapping you back into physical form. The world that greets you is vastly different. You find yourself amidst the grandeur of a magical cityscape. A voice in your head tells you, It is the city of Aurelius, the jewel of humanity. Towers that glimmer with arcane energy punctuate the skyline, and the air is vibrant with the hum of potent enchantments. The cobbled streets sprawl out before you, your horses and wagons ambling along, seemingly as if they had been there all along, embedded in this scene from a forgotten past. With a dizzying surge of consciousness, you all wake in new forms. Your mind, a whirlwind of unfamiliar sensations and memories. The usual echoes of your former self remain faint whispers in your mind, but you are now these past characters, caught in a time that is not your own. The city of Aurelia sprawls before you, and as you wagon yourself away, the stage is set for an impending adventure in this tale. 
When we return <laughs> from our intermission, what? we will begin a glimpse into the past, another convergence point as we enter a two-shot, one-and-a-half-shot adventure <laughs> of actual events that have occurred in this timeline. They are their characters. They are Coco and Cristobal and Val and Otto and Yuri. <laughs> but they are inhabiting people from the past. Okay. And who they are, we will meet when we return. Now, uh, I, there is a poll up. Oh no. Uh, you will, once we go to our intermission, there'll be about a two minute video that will talk all about that poll. Uh, and if you type exclamation point convergence Correct. soonish, yeah, now, now uh, it will take you to a Google form where you can also vote. Oh. So we've exited, we've finished our epilogue of the City of Glass, oh. and we are moving into a glimpse of the past so that we might have a burst of the future soon. All right, everyone. We'll be back in 15 minutes. That was only half the show. Greetings, gods who watch. I am Zosezeraz, the Astral Dragon, the weaver of the cosmic tapestry in which our valiant heroes journey. You have observed their struggles, shared their victories, mourned their losses, and rejoiced in their triumphs. Yet these mortals are not alone in their adventures. They are tethered to the existence of the universe itself. Their souls intertwined with the threads of existence. These threads resonate with each decision, each action, each experience pulsating across the cosmos. Just as a smith tethers steel. Yet, as we reach a crucial juncture in our saga, a convergence is upon us. Where the past, present, and future ripples collide. Offering an opportunity to forge the fabric of reality itself. This is where you, the gods who watch, step in. Not as mere spectators, but as blacksmiths of the cosmos. The City of Glass stands as a beacon of potential, reflecting the light of Mumbra. However, its radiance also casts deep, incorruptible shadows. Should it remain a fixture in our universe, or should it be removed from existence, its souls return to their rightful place in the timeline? Now the time has come for you to wield the power of choice. To command the flow of the narrative, will you choose to hold the city blast or decree its removal? Welcome, my dear watchers, to the first convergence. The fate of our heroes and the universe now lies in your hands. As always, the Dungeon Run is thrilled to be partnering with amazing companies as our sponsors. Companies like Die Hard Dice. If you go to dieharddice.com right now, you can find the most beautiful dice, dice trays, and other D&D accessories created by some of the kindest people in the business. They have these amazing dire D20s, which are like extra-sized metal D20s that give you a really good clonk when you roll it around your dice tray. They have one called Absolute Midnight that I'm a very big fan of. Check it out. Free shipping on orders $30 or more, and if you use our code dungeon run at checkout you get yourself a lovely little discount on us so do that right now world anvil world anvil is created by world builders for world builders whether it's dnd pathfinder vampire the masquerade or your own system they have all the tools you'll need to create interactive maps historical timelines family trees everything you could ever possibly imagine for your campaign your novel your story is there on world anvil go to worldanvil.com and if you use the code dungeon run you get yourself 40 percent off a yearly subscription thank you world anvil thank you die hard dice
We're back. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your time off. I also hope that you uh, had an opportunity to look at the voting. Um, I stress that you vote. You got about a week to do it. Got a week to do uh, it. You got a week to do it. Uh, but those votes, as you have found out, uh, and if you have not yet, you will, uh, will change the future content that we release here in the chapter because you will be making the choice and whether the city of glass Run. remains. Put your mic on. I have a mic on. <laughs> yeah. I did it again. Always. I always do it. It's right here. Right on the side here. <laughs> Don't you hate it when people do this? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Apologies. Well. My bad. Uh, so I'll repeat what I was just saying. <laughs> if you haven't done so yet, welcome. Uh, and go check out the poll that we, uh, exclamation point converge, gents. Convergence. Convergence. Uh, you should read read that blurb and then make your vote. You got one week to do so. Uh, as you have seen uh, as tonight, uh, you, the watchers, the gods who watch, will be able to change the reality going forward and whether the city of glass remains or if it is destroyed or removed from the You'll just have to have that conversation with your dad all over again. Yep. It's Seriously. fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so weird being on this side. Yeah, it's welcome. Right? Why are you on this side? We're not showing uh, them the other so side of the table. We're not going to show yet. you the other side of the table just yet. <laughs> but we've changed the things up here. We're moving into what I like to call sort of a transitionary one-shot. Two shots. You're going to have a good time. Uh, so, as we find ourselves in this beautiful landscape, the city of Aurelius behind you, there's a family. Blonde woman sitting on a wagon, surrounded by her family members, is reading a missive. And that missive says, To the esteemed members of Research Unit 7, I hope this missive finds your family in good health. For the times are dire, and we need all capable minds at their finest. Please forgive the uncivilized manner in which this letter reaches you. It appears that sendings and other evocation messages uh, are now unreliable. As you know, it has been ten years since the storm cut off our beautiful island from the rest of the world. And yet, we have to ascertain what happened. Unknown to many, our normal magical means of transportation across the plains has also ceased with disastrous effects. Magic has recently become unstable and dangerous for even the most potent wizard, resulting in deaths and destruction unseen since the ancient upheaval. The Circle of Elders has agreed to call for an unprecedented gathering of all of our greatest minds. It is time for Aurelius to stand and determine the true nature of our magical cataclysm. Therefore, it is my responsibility to contact you for your new assignment, Alessandra. Based on both arcane and mundane observations, we have discerned that a possible location to study the disruption of magic is in a nearby locale. Previously known to us as a dormant ley line of magical energy. Over the past weeks, it has shown a considerable spike in uncontrolled activity, highly unusual for a previously calm ley line, near the town of Salubria Glora. We are still determining why this ley line has awakened, or how it connects to the present disruptions throughout Aurelius and Meccas. However, our previous ability to contact the local mayor, Mayor Juddenham, has proven complicated. I am using my authority to appoint your group to investigate this matter. You have shown considerable resourcefulness, knowledge, and courage in your past assignments, and we are confident in your ability to shed light on this situation. Venture to Salubria Glora, contact the local mayor, and determine if the ley line will shed any light on the source of our city's current predicament. Watch for changes in the local flora and fauna, anomalies in magical behavior, and signs of corruption. We, will discern, we must discern if these are warnings of a more significant looming threat. 
Your service in this crucial mission is of utmost importance to Aurelius. Return with your findings and any relevant objects of interest, and I must stress that you must do so even at the expense of your own team's safety. We are navigating unknown waters and must all be willing to sacrifice for the greater good. Your findings and actions may be the key to solving our current crisis. May the wisdom of Mechus and Magus guide your path. Yours in magic and knowledge. Dr. Methius Eldenmore, Head of Arcane Studies, City of Aurelius, the Jewel of Humanity. As you leave the bustling city of Aurelius behind you, the tranquil beauty of nature unfolds before you. You come upon a hill situated just at the edge of the city. This hill is a vibrant sea of greens bathed in warm sunlight. Wildflowers dot the landscape, their colors bold and bright, while their delicate perfume mingles with the earthy scent of grass and soil. If you were to walk beneath your feet, the ground feels warm and alive, hinting at the world of life that flourishes just beneath the surface. Trees sway gently in an almost idyllic breeze, their leaves rustling softly while birds add their songs to the peaceful quiet of the hillside. A clear brook winds through the hill, its waters sparkling in the sunlight. It provides a refreshing drink for the creatures who call this place home. It is of pure, simple beauty. It's a tranquil place, a haven of life outside the bustling city. As you gaze at this verdant scene, a sense of peace fills you, reminding you of the simple harmony in nature's splendor. You may all now introduce yourselves. We'll start with Alessandra, our matron who is reading the scroll. Uh, yeah, Alessandra is a human woman. Miss <laughs> 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 Katie. Um, she holding. has bl blonde <laughs> I like can't even look over here. <laughs> um, she has blonde hair. She is the eldest of the family, Alessandra Amira. She is a sorcerer of uh, the a lunar sorcerer. Mm -hmm. And she, what else should we say? Uh, she's got longer blonde hair that's like kept up in a bun uh, above her head. She's very like well kept. Always has a serious look on her face. <clears throat> she also um, carries a pin or a pendant mm -hmm. that identifies her as one of the elite mm -hmm. uh, of the High Sorcery Council. Mm -hmm. And she is on this wagon with her family. Riding next to them, uh, next to the wagon on a mule is... Uh, so with his head down on his chest, um, half sleeping while the mule trots along is uh, Cornelius Amira. Uh, he's a 65, 66-year-old uh, rogue uh, who... Retirement age. Yep, exactly. <laughs> who the rest of the family uh, lovingly refers to as Pop Pop. Um, he uh, has a cloak that is constantly billowing in the wind unnecessarily, a uh, pipe that is hanging loosely from his lips at the moment, and uh, he's dressed in very simple, unadorned clothing. Oh yeah, Alessandra's like, uh, what did I say? 28. She's like, uh, 28. Mm -hmm. Young, but has gone gotten very far. Riding on the wagon or on his own horse? No, I think sitting next to Alessandra. Okay. I'm I'm probably uh, got the reins on the horses, oh, sitting next. to well, I will. This yeah, is how yes. it works. This <laughs> is right. what you do. <laughs> right. That's right. correct. Right. 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 <laughs> sitting next to Alessandra, my wife. <laughs> Husband <laughs> <laughs> is uh, Matthias Greyhunt. Uh, he is also a human, tall and tall and tan, like someone who spent a little bit too much time in the sun. He has hazel eyes with more gold than green in them, and his longer brown hair cascades down to his shoulders with rivulets of blondish gold running through it. Uh, he has matching sun tattoos on the backs of both of his hands, and their rays extend like heat ripples up his forearms, and his skin is almost unnaturally warm to the touch. Uh, riding on... 
mules. Or in the uh, back of the cart? The now we're on the back of the cart. <laughs> yeah. in, the back of the wagon, in the back of the wagon are a yeah. set of twins. Yeah. Male? Female? <laughs> Hard to tell. It's giving gender. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, I'm Jeremy. I'm a barbarian, a human. I am uh, about 6'3". <laughs> And I'm hot. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Oh, I'm hot as hay. Hot <laughs> it. Hot as hay. That was real good. And there's a good bit of amount of hay in the back. Yeah, so. I'm hot. Yep. And um, I'm a barbarian of the wild magic variety. I have a breastplate that never gets dirty. It is always pristine, spotless, and clean. That's it from me. And riding next to them is their twin sibling. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm Laramie. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. I mean, they're a twin. That's, so all, you know. Know. That's all you need to know. Yeah, we're, six three. <laughs> we're six three or older. We're hot. Yep. Uh, you are about, uh, you know, most of a day's journey away from oh. the Three of War. <laughs> Uh, and it is. Her mom had a regular is, labor. We're sorry, and yet you're welcome. <laughs> it's family time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, Alessandra. Yes, Matthias. Is it me, or I mean, did Doctor Eldon more like put kind of a little bit of extra emphasis on that bit about the sacrificing thing? Look, I got all of them a job on this research team. And it is going to help the family name. And, you know, I mean, they know what they signed up for. This is a dangerous job at times. I mean, it is, no, for sure. I mean, but, you know, it's it's just kind of like dormant ley line. Go to this mayor, check out. I mean, but then it's, and then it gets real grim right at the end. I'm just, I'm just trying to warn us. You know, if you don't have the stomach, That's Brandon Sullivan eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, ah, no. Pop Pop called you. He's awake. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just saying, you know, if, if Alessandra hadn't reached out to her mm-hmm. ex-boyfriend, Mateus Ellendor, who Sir. was... Sir. Well, he's just climbed quite high in the rankings. And, oh, I forgot y'all dated. Yeah. What, two years? It was two years. years was oh, it was... Uh, so oh, we do not need to rehab. Yeah. He you was know hot. Here right so now? hot. Yeah. Mateus is here now. Ah, uh, yes, we're married, remember? <laughs> oh, I remember. Uh, I'm just saying, I don't think this will be that big of a deal. I, I remember back during the wall... I was in an arm wrestling match once with this ogre outside of Mecca's. And he no. had said to me no, that not I'm not... Again. No, I love this story. Tell no, it. No, I know the odds are so good on you. Thank you very much. And anyway, I said, I must borrow your armor of superhuman strength. And he said, I cannot loan it to you. It no, will no, not no, fail no, you. No, 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 no. And that's the last time anyone ever doubted Cornelius' his ability to fit into armor. I'm just saying... <laughs> Got me through the whole battle all completely on skate. Mm-hmm. Yep. You're amazing, Pat Pat. Do you think if we just jump off the cart and like hide in the underbrush, we can just- Oh, they'll find us. But we can live here. This is nice. It's Sounds funny. like something you do There's is hide. I, what? All right, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Didn't I just- Burn! I revived you from death like last week. And yeah, I, and I, don't you remember how helpful Matthias was then? Yeah, and no, then were, I'm pretty really sure I cured your blindness the week before that. <laughs> Matthias, you're so smart. Thank you. Would you like yes, some? Yes, he is. I, I made some uh, some blueberry bread. Do you want some? Do you have candy? I love. No, it's basically candy. Ooh, it's like, kind of. I didn't. I didn't use any egg Matthias, or any or them any candy. milk. Do not no, give it's them just candy. blueberry bread. It's. it's right. Is there a lot no, of no, sugar? No, no, it's good. We're allergic to eggs and stuff. No, yeah, it's You're great. We're so allergic to eggs. No, I know. <laughs> we just so kind of like. We just. I know, I know, and I've been working on plant based, uh, plant based like like desserts, yeah, and, and he's so been have working some really bread. hard every Here, night. You can have one too. I've got three. Oh, right. okay. Matthias, you're really you're, nice. You're really Thank nice. You. Three, you're huh? Smart. Yeah, three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, sir. You all sorry. get three sir, temporary sir, hit points. No, no, no. Oh, no. I, I know where I stand. No, all, I insist. Everyone who eats one gets three temporary hit points. <laughs> He's got the chef. <laughs> Matthias has the chef feet. That's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Oh, Come on, boy. you know you would like it. I'm fine. I'm sure my old friend Gus will be. Cooking us up a stew, and I told y'all that I've been to uh, Solemn Brew Glora before, right? It was the scene of a famous battle. Salubria Glora. Oh, oh, that's yeah. what I said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, have, have I ever 
suggested maybe you ought to start writing an autobiography. Then you great. take these thoughts and you could write them all down. You know, that's a great idea. Hey, uh, 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 Laramie there, make sure you start taking down No, notes no, no. I think yeah. it'd be great okay. if you yeah. did it yourself. Okay. Yeah. Laramie no, barely yeah. knows how to write. Laramie's so good at writing. I can write. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Listen, okay. we gotta talk about what our birthday plans are, of course. Because it's today. Today. <laughs> What? Oh, we're about to turn 21. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, we want, when we get to Salubria we, Glora, we got to like celebrate. Yeah, we, 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 want, we want we want to drink. Yeah, yeah we go out to a tavern. No, we'll well, sure hold we on. We are on the job. That yeah, is we're why you are here. You are coming of age. You are here. You're, You're representing right. the family. Yes. Come on now. I had to do this. You have to do it too. You're such a stick in the mud. What? I mean, the work day ends at some point is oh, all we're saying. Oh, all we're be, saying. That's what we're happen. saying. Things it's going to be a super easy job. It's going to be. We're we'll having a good time. It's okay. like, all right. All right. Okay. Hey, Alessandra. Hey. Hey, it's going to be great. Like, when, when is the last time we embarrassed you? Yeah, when was it? When was, was it? Was it like yesterday? Because it wasn't. You let's were just, fine. You were fine? Let's just keep it. We love you. We love you. We sister. love you. We love you yeah, so much. I love, we love you. I love you so Thank much. Thank you. Uh, she said uh, happy Papa's birthday. Papa's gonna ride up next to her. Oh my gosh! I, I know they give you a hard time, but that's just because mm -hmm. they love you. Because you are so smart and talented, mm -hmm. and just too good for this world. Yeah, we love you. We love you know it's so hard yeah. because we're yeah, so I, I, I get it. I yeah, get it. So All right. And thank you. And we want to say thank you for getting us this right. opportunity. And plus, yeah. like, you know, it's it's real hard, you know, being you in comparison to, to us. us. Yeah, oh, I'm, it's hard being me, too, you know. I had No, that's to what do we're saying. That's what we're saying. saying. It's so it's hard. hard being you. It's so hard because you're you. not us. And we're only getting older. We're not triplets. No, and we could have been. I mean, could have been. No, like, you're okay. because there's only one okay. that has split okay. twice. I don't know. Okay. okay. We're good I at work. math. Really hard to yeah. cover up the fire that y'all set in the last tavern, okay? Well, no, it wasn't on purpose. Well, I, I know. It was so cold. And we were just, you know, um, we were just impressing some ladies. I, it was you so know, cute. And I get you. They know, were quite I, I attractive. Yeah, I, they were. That'll tell you the time I oh, burned down the town no, no, no. when I was yeah. no, you know when I, I was courting your grandmother, who oh. was vivacious to say the least. Oh, you we stop, stop really calling her vivacious. Pat, Pat, please, please don't. don't. Please, please don't. Please don't. so gross. A uh, beautiful woman is oh, a beautiful I know, woman. I know, Pat, Pat, but just, just vivacious is a very, like, loaded word. <laughs> Pat, Pat, you okay? You sweating a lot. Yeah, you're sweating a lot. You're pouring sweat. <laughs> you, you, you want some crystal ladders? <laughs> like we got some oh beverage. My God. I don't know uh, if I can get through this. <laughs> Matthias <laughs> is a... Uh, Matthias is a cleric of light and also is very in tune with nature as a result. And so mm -hmm. since the letter told us to be on the lookout yeah. for signs of corruption and Absolutely. keep an eye on the flora and fauna, definitely as all this chaos is happening, Matthias <laughs> is looking off to the side, brushing off the insults coming from his grandfather-in-law <laughs> and uh, looking for anything out of, out of the ordinary. Uh, yeah, make a, make a perception check for me. Um, <laughs> I will cast guidance on myself. Great. Clerics! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where hey, my, Jeremy. Where's my yeah, D4? Uh, I, I, I bet you, I'll bet. Oh, no. I'll bet that no, Matthias, uh, yeah, I'll just wager. Wait, I wait, bet wait. that Matthias finds some corruption first. Ooh, oh, uh, I bet that Alessandra will find corruption first. Okay. I know she's not okay. looking right nature now, but. Perception? She... Uh, perception. Okay, cool. But I think uh, she would. I think or she nature, whichever's better for you. Actually, they're the same. Uh, uh, dirty 20. Oh, see, wow. Tass is real good at spotting corruption. Oh. As you uh, are traveling not far from the city. I'm an expert at drowning out uh, the noise. Yes. <laughs> things, yes. things seem fairly normal. You know, it's this is a, if you didn't know any better, this would be like paradise. You know, the breezes, temperatures are good, the colors are good, there's plenty of water, plenty of uh, wildlife sort of running around uh, as you travel down this hill. Uh, and this pathway. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, you do, you know, you have all sort of in various ways uh, when you activate magic, things seem to go strange. Uh, colors aren't as they usually are when you mm -hmm. cast certain spells. Um, sometimes uh, you'll need more of a component than you normally would to cast mm -hmm. a spell. Uh, a variety of odd things, but nothing too disruptive. <clears throat> 
really nice here. It is. It is rather pleasant, isn't it? We could. I think we got. We probably take like a week off or something in a couple months. Oh. When we come back here. Yeah, maybe in a couple months. We we can talk about it then. Okay. okay. Yeah, well, I'm just, uh, just kind of putting it out there. You guys are so adorable. So adorable. <laughs> so adorable. So adorable. Yeah, when you guys don't have kids. Oh my Sunday, gosh! I have like little nieces and nephews. Jeremy Lee, do not make me get back there. Oh. Well, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I just we're just really supportive of your relationship. We really appreciate it. Appreciate oh, it's it. very very yeah. sweet of you. Thank you. Unlike yeah, you're some. a very polite man. Oh, and thanks. I actually like it. It means a lot to me that you're polite to my sister. Oh well, yeah. yeah. She's she's pretty great. Because if you weren't, I would rage. We would rage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I've seen you do it. It's, um, I. I Thank you. You don't have to threaten me with violence, but well, I appreciate you wanting to be That's what we like her. about you. Yeah, we, we don't, don't have to, we don't have to worry about you. No, no, we I don't worry about you. <laughs> so sweet. So thank, sweet. Thank you, thank you. And the, the, it's not ever a threat of violence, it's just an aura. It's a promise of general <laughs> violence. <laughs> yeah, no, I... I um, so, like, you no, you, you, you both have yeah. a very We just love our sister. We love presence, our sister so and I, much. I love your sister, too. Good. Because she didn't have it as easy as we have we it, because she's real. not as Sure. Cute. Can I send a, a mage hand back there to just, like... <laughs> <laughs> back yes. to their head? Uh, roll two d20s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Magic is... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, I say when I cast guidance, did anything happen? Oh, I'll get to you. I forgot. Okay. About that. Ooh! Oh no! Are they double ones? Oh no! Seriously? Yes. Double ones? What is that? Double mean? ones? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Double ones? Shortest one shot ever. We all die. <laughs> <Did> we die? <laughs> Are we dead? Wow. Hold on. I don't know. Um, what? Uh, as she That's begins to <laughs> draw on the, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do your your guidance first. Roll two d20s okay. for me. Two d20s. Yeah. Seriously, two ones? Two, two ones. ones. A higher or lower? Are we uh, dead? Uh, no. I, I'm sorry? Higher or lower? Sure? I rolled two d20s. What do I do? Oh, uh, just tell me what the first one was. 19. 19? Uh, okay, and the second one. 15. Uh, as you uh, touch... Um, <laughs> uh, as you uh, cast guidance on yourself... Um, do you have a beard? Like, describe uh, your face, your uh, hair. It's probably a little scruff and longer okay. hair. Um, but like, like not not past the shoulders. But. A a donut sized amount of hair on the back of your head falls out. Oh, <laughs> Matthias! <laughs> Matthias! I don't. Um, what? Is oh, my oh, I mean, oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Everybody, just hold it together. I don't know. I don't know. But that, I mean, it's a choice. I you cast know? a spell. I mean, you wear it well. You wear it so well. You wear Thank it so you. well. Uh, it's kind of. I mean, monks. There are monks who like that's have this. True. Like it's yeah. called like a that's tonsure, true. right? That's true. But that's I'm not really now. my vibe. I mean, it is a perfect circle. Whoa! It's, really Whoa. it's like a crop circle on the but back of my you know, head. You know, it's like you're special or something. Thanks. Oh, yeah. It's you perfectly round. All right, mage hand. So that's when you cast the mage hand. Uh, and as she pulls the magic from Fireball. the air, <laughs> her hand explodes in a giant form of fire. No! Everyone needs to make dexterity saving throws. <laughs> oh my drop. god! Uh, your mules die. Oh! Alessandra! They're burned alive. See? Do we have any advantages? <laughs> uh, Valcorio, you have advantage. That's a way to start the game. <laughs> Uh, oh, Crystal no. Ball, you have her mule. You have advantage uh, from. Oh man! Oh my! Crystal God. Ball, you have advantage from Kitty Scritches. Thank you, Kitty Scritches. Disadvantage from Lincoln Break. Lincoln Break. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and that's it. Everyone else is a straight, straight roll. roll. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. What are we? Uh, dexterity. Dexterity oh, saving throw. Okay. Broken. All right. Oh, no. Nine. Bonuses on saving. Yeah, net twenty. Better oh, hope the cleric's Jesus. up. <laughs> oh, wait, you rolled a nine? I rolled a nine. Oh, no. Fifteen. Uh, eight. Eight? Eight. Fifteen. 
Okay, 15 passes, 8 fails, 9 fails. 26. 26 oh, passes, well, natural 20 passes. In this, in this yeah. world, you're <laughs> yeah, yeah, He's dexterous as heck. Uh, I was trying to say <laughs> Buttercup and Biscuit are favorite mules. <laughs> you almost if had. you failed, you take 20 fire damage. Oh! oh. Am I dead? Wait. No, no right? you're a barbarian. Oh, you're a you know. still, yeah. How many fire damage? If you pass, you literally. Take 10. Our, oh! our cart so, explodes. So yep. I go to do a mage hand and just boom, boom, <laughs> throwing everyone wide <laughs> into this idyllic landscape. Uh, you know, the barbarians who were just having a great time. Yeah, we're just uh, choking. Land face first and slide into oh. the grass. Oh. Uh, Pop Pop seems to backflip off the horse and just just barely Matrix style dodge the fire uh, as it singes part of his face. Uh, and surprisingly enough, <laughs> Alessandro, who is the center of this fireball, like, like, happens uh -huh. to hold it <laughs> high enough <laughs> and block it, and a magical energy prevents too oh, much yeah. of the fire from burning you, like, her alive. Hold it out in his face. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, Maddie, who is yes, normally like, used to <laughs> catching things on fire because he's a chef, uh, himself <laughs> becomes barbecue and is thrown wide off the wagon. No. I'm, I'm, I'm alive. <laughs> oh, Buttercup oh, isn't. Where is she? And I, um, oh I'm in the ashes of my favorite mule. Oh. Oh. What the hell? Oh. Jeremy, is it too late? No, I don't know. I don't it's think, too late. I don't think we can fix it. Her. Let's put it back. I don't think it. we can Let's fix it. All right, all right. Um, all right. Um, Everyone. Uh, what, what just happened? What? Uh, what just, I don't understand. I I, Why would you do Alexandra? that? I didn't, I didn't do that. I was just gonna. You have such a temper. No, I, Mike. No, excuse me. No, she did not do that on purpose. Because if I you cast did. a spell and my hair fell out, you cast a spell and everything exploded. Right. It probably just has to do with our our, our relative abilities with magic. Yeah. Well, or it's something. the weird thing, right? I'm not. I'm not smart. I'm gonna take that back. I'm gonna walk. Uh, I no, no, no. You can. You being a wild magic barbarian. This okay. seemed very, you, very sim familiar yeah, to me. No. Jeremy, what do you think? So here's the thing. Sometimes magic is all wibbly, right? Wibbly. Yeah. And I think that the the magic. Um, I didn't want to say anything because like I, I just didn't want to make anything about me. Um, no, you got this. You got this, Jeremy. But the air's oh. been tasting really weird. Oh. Like I've been getting like a metallic copper taste. And like, um, the, okay. there's like weird sounds, and then the color pink isn't exactly the color pink. And what I'm trying to say is that magic is real messed up right now in in, in the air, right. in the ether. Yeah, but yeah, we, yeah. Right, Jeremy. that's what we're going. But that, that's what that was. Well, they Jeremy. said that they said the ley line was dormant near here. Well, well I, I, I don't know. No, 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 no it's, it's it's had an spike and uncontrolled activity. Do you not listen to the letter yeah, as no, no, I read no, it? Yeah, of course, yeah, but that was, I mean, that was more than a spike. That was a literal And you're fireball. more than, you're, you know, a little three quarters of a day away from where that supposed <sighs> bit lay right well, is. Right, it's well, going to be longer so, now. Well, how are we supposed to do anything if we can't use our magic? Well, so well, some of us have so martial abilities. And strength. Lifting if when you I need push. Some of I us use our looks. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're not in the war right now. Sir, I'm gonna heal myself. Wait, could you, could, wait, hold is up. Is there anything? Could you help? I, I, we all. We, look we gotta just walk now. No, I guess we have horses. We have horses, or we just have mules. No, you just have nothing. We just the have wagons our broken and burnt, oh, and your Sandra. horses have been immolated. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go over to the twins and oh. do a, a basically bandit medicine okay. on them. I, I don't have magic. Oh uh, wait, uh, Maddie almost. Yeah, yeah. it's like oh, what? Wait, wait, hold up on your magic. Yeah. Pat, pat, kiss her boo boo. No. Yeah, yeah. So I go over and I like distract them by like pulling coins out of their Ooh, ears. Yeah. <laughs> Puffing on my pipe and like little smoke oh, bombs yeah. coming out yeah, as they do. I'm like yes. pulling splinters out of there, oh, out of there. Oh, like they don't oh. notice. Okay. I, I got a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Yeah. Uh, you, pat, pat, two two pat, HP pat. back. Yeah. So yeah. So basically, I, I oh pat pat. Pat, like, pat pat. Thank you so much. Some of the part of the wagon that exploded into your face. Oh yeah. Sort of, <laughs> oh look, from behind your ear, it's a bloody splinter. Oh, that's a bloody chunk of wood. Matthias, if you're gonna. Tend to yourself. Maybe, um, maybe you should just go off on your own. For I don't a bit. know if I should. Like, just yeah. at some distance. You, mm, I don't know if I should. Well, I, well I we're not know. gonna not use magic. Oh, That's silly. Do you need? Do you need some first aid, darling? 
I, well, let you me know, see I what can, I can do. I can start looking her over. Medicine check. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah Matth- Matthias backs off, <laughs> backs off into the underbrush and casts a second level Cure Wounds. Roll 2d20s. I'm going to be like doing this. <laughs> okay, Alright, first was an 11, and the okay. second one was a 2. Um, uh, as you place your hand and heal yourself, your wounds close, uh-huh. uh, but you <clears throat> lift off the ground six inches. Um, okay, that's not terrible. <clears throat> It's a little different. Right. Jeremy, did you know that Maddie could fly? I didn't know that Maddie could fly. Maddie, did you know you could fly? I did not know I could Maddie, fly. Maddie, you fly. Are, I, I, are I, you stuck there? Can you move? Um, you can control it. It seems almost perfectly mm. controlled. You can't go any higher than six feet, six <laughs> inches off the ground. Oh, it's so but cool. But you can move back and forth without... without uh, All know. right. I'll take it compared to the fireball. Yeah, should we tie a rope to you and drag you around? Yeah. No, I can no. move fine myself. No. I appreciate it. I'm good. Okay, oh, okay. but everyone is okay? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, and uh, Laramie uh, whispers something over to Jeremy. Jeremy. What's up, Laramie? And I if heal myself keep, for if, 14. Cause... If we injure ourselves a whole bunch Hold of... Hold on. Pa- uh, you know what I love? What's you up? You guys have a twin language. Yeah, <laughs> so we do. Yeah, you we can no talk idea. like you yeah. are. They don't yeah. understand Absolutely a word do. you're saying. Just, and what they hear is... <laughs> Wait a minute, the most twin language is, is kind of no, That's their twin language, so they decided yes, this is sure. a magical world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy. If we hurt ourselves yeah, more, yeah. guess what? What? Maybe Pat Pat will keep healing us and pulling coins out our ears. Then we save the money. We could buy so much beer. Oh wait, hold up. Are we shaking now, Pat Pat? <laughs> Is that what we're doing? Because I, mean, I just didn't know if that's what we're doing. <laughs> because we all we also have potions and stuff too. Potions yeah. to do what? To heal ourselves. No, I, I don't want to heal myself. I'm just saying, if he heals us, then we can take the coins, the shiny things. And yeah, he, yeah. And then we'll. Oh yeah, how many coins do you think he has? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's hey, keep hurting ourselves. Hey guys, ourselves. can we get a move hey, on? Keep <laughs> Hey, everybody. I got, I got a 15 on a medicine check. Uh, <laughs> one, you can return one input. It's kind of rough here. I'm a, <laughs> that She's fireball fine. did cinch me up. Oh, it did. I don't have a lot of hip. I'm on my uh, sorcerer. You're a sorcerer, sorcerer <laughs> right. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. Right. I mean, are we going to even make it at this point? Without the mules out the car, no, we, we got to make it? Yeah, you'll, you'll still be able to make it. Just it's a pretty walking. idyllic place, and the path is not hard to it's travel. It's a nice walk. Do you it's, want us to... Give you a piggyback. Yeah, you want pat, pat? us to carry you, or we're so strong, Mateus. If you want a, a piggyback ride, maybe later. I yeah, I'm just, I I'm, would I'm, love a piggyback ride. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You take it one leg, and I'll take it. <laughs> that was a double okay. piggyback ride. Yeah, babe. Here we go. Here we go. I have to tell you the time I carried an injured soldier 16 <laughs> miles back story. from the front lines, only because I owed him 20 gold pieces. Oh. oh, that's so good. Did you have 20 gold pieces? I did not. I dropped his broken butt and I ran back to the front line. Darn. As this <laughs> continues, yeah. sort of travel. I was like, push ahead with Matai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're, 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 we're for it. Like, yes. uh, guys, it's an uncanny how, how family familiar these people. <laughs> this is a family if I were just staring you in the face. I love it. Uh, as you're about a half day journey from Salubria Gloria, As you round the bend of a copse of trees, demarking a bend in the brook into yet another beautiful meadow, you come across a group of deer peacefully grazing in a nearby glade. Shh, shh, shh. Everybody be quiet. The sun bathes the field in a warm golden glow. Amongst the elegant creatures, your eyes are drawn to one deer, a doe whose usually lustrous coat stands out even in this herd. Something doesn't feel quite right. She moves with an uncharacteristic sluggishness, her usual grace replaced with labored effort. Her eyes seem to lack the typical brightness, carrying a distant, hazy look. Her coat seems dull, its ashen undertone contrasting starkly with the vibrant greenery. Then it happens. A faint shimmer envelopes her like a heat heat haze, an odd subdued crackle of magical energy, (laughs) almost too soft to hear, whispers through the air, slamming into your ears. As if stung, the doe shudders, legs buckling underneath her, 
Before your startled eyes, she collapses in a quiet heap on the verdant grass. With a flurry of alarmed snorts and a thunder of hooves, the rest of the deer bolt, vanishing into the shelter of the forest, leaving behind their fallen companion. The doe's sudden collapse, accompanied by that whisper of magical energy, reverberates in the air. The doe is, is there and on uh, the ground. About, yeah, I mean, 100 feet right, from I'm, where I'm you are. I'm going yeah. towards it. I'm rushing towards it. Let's go to Yeah, uh, let's go. Uh, 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 just the, In all uh, our 21, almost 21, 21 years, years, we haven't seen anything like yeah. that. I am Tread looking carefully. for the sign. Like, I'm looking, like, my mind is, like, the dough was something hit the dough. Okay. So I'm looking, I'm scanning the periphery, okay. looking for like a source of this. So magic. investigation for you. Uh, I uh, Matthias, as he is as he is kind of hurrying through, yeah. uh, uh, slips on goggles of object reading. Uh, great. Uh, they are leather frame goggles. They, he sort of pulls them down over his hair that is now there's a big <laughs> wow. check missing in the back. Uh, puts it down over his eyes. Uh, they give me advantage on Arcana checks made to reveal information about a creature I can see. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I, as I'm approaching, I don't want to touch it yet. I'm treating sure. it like a crime scene. Okay. Um, can I assist my pop-pop in investigating? Absolutely. That would be very helpful. Jeremy. So roll yours Jeremy. as well. Roll mine yeah. as well. Okay. If you succeed, he gets advantage. 18. Uh, do you think we should go investigate Jeremy? Uh, you I know, eight, I think that on mine. Okay. they need protection if something goes wrong. Okay, we'll, we'll stand and watch you guys. Yeah, I'll be your bodyguards. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's 11. Uh, you're 18. As he's scanning around, he doesn't see uh, anything. What you recognize as he's looking around is that heat haze was clearly a spell. The heat haze? Yeah, it's clearly some sort of magical effect or spell. Uh, an echo almost like a burning hands, but not in a particular direction. As a, as a light cleric, mm -hmm. I would clearly recognize Yes, I mean, hands. and with your DC, you, 18 for you? Yes. You definitely recognize that, yeah. uh, as I just told her as well. Um, but since you're sort of going up to this doe, you spot a few patches on the doe's coat that are oddly discolored. Um, mm -hmm. A sickly grayish hue instead of the rich brown you would normally expect. Uh, the animal's breathing is shallow and rapid. They are still breathing indicating some sort of extreme distress. You also notice a strange smell coming from the doe, something you can't quite identify, but is definitely unnatural. Besides the shallow breathing and the discolored coat, you now notice a sick, sticky, as you move your hands and sort of with these goggles, the goggles identify to you that there is a sticky, viscous substance that seems to cling to the par under parts of the doe's fur and skin. Ugh. It's dark like crude oil and emits a faint warmth as you watch a wisp of shadow seems to flicker within it mm -hmm. on closer inspection you also see strange burns surrounding this fluid they look strangely like fire burns but seem to emanate a cold aura instead of heat uh this is not this is not natural this is bad no, absolutely not. This, did you see? I mean, did you see what I said with the magic that must have been cast? Yeah, here? that was. But it was like it was like the air cast it. It wasn't like you know burning hands, like mm -hmm. the, you know. But it was just like suddenly a gout of flame. And now, could this be a situation where someone tried to cast a spell, and this was the occur the byproduct? I mean, I don't see anyone around and I don't think these deer are magic users. Jeremy, as they're talking yeah. amongst themselves and you're sort of listening <laughs> yeah. in, that sounds a lot like wild magic to you. Yeah, so uh, so Jeremy has been uh, uh, walking the perimeter of the situation looking for danger because, Thank you know, you. we don't know what's in the woods. You're doing mm -hmm. great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this sounds like how because we're exactly like walking next to each other because yeah. we have to be. <clears throat> this, this sounds like how I cast magic. This, this sometimes, so sometimes when I cast spells, they go wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you try mm -hmm. so hard. We Correct. know, we know. Well, it's right. not really a spell, it's just when I get really mad, some things yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. we know. Yep. Mom says I'm in tune with the universe. Sure. Mom said that. You are your soul Thank into. You. So like, that's what it is, right? Like, and this, this, the deer thing, uh, there's there's no danger around in the perimeter. 
So it maybe maybe it's just wild magic happening. Could I have something like to basically take a sample of it? Am I able? W- will the deer let me touch it? Uh, it's unconscious. Okay, it's just breathing. Okay, so it's Matanz, like it's passed out. Be careful. We we don't know what that is. I'd Are like the, do, I'd like to very carefully like using using like basically like even like a, a chef's tool like a okay, fork perfect. or something Great. like that. Uh, Are the patches of gray that the the mm. discoloration on the uh, deer? Are I'll they exactly up. round like his hair? No, they're not perfectly round. <laughs> just We're just trying to find a connection. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll clean out the container that I had the blueberry bread in, okay. and, and, and uh, uh, you know basically. Uh, and, and, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> what is the contain? What's the container? Uh. Glass. Okay. Uh, as you pull uh, <laughs> this dark, ones. viscous thing and drop it on the glass, it's almost like um, if you took Elmer's glue uh-huh. and left it out till it was tacky uh-huh. and then threw it at a piece of glass where it would get sort of like that, that it would splay out. That's exactly what it does when you put yeah. it in the glass. Uh, and it seems to... Oh no! Oh, it it's trying to move it. Oh, it just know. sort of seems oh, to like. Be careful. Put the Tupperware lid on. Put that down. Honey. You <laughs> Can know, I put it, a lid on? Yeah, I mean, it, it only does that one. Like as you toss it in there, a little bit of time goes by, and then it. All right. I, look, can it, everyone. Back and as up, you I'm, stare at it, it doesn't move anymore. I, I'm just gonna detect what's going on here if careful. I can. But everyone, yeah, give back some up, space just up. in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In case you throw another fireball. I'm not gonna try. Two. No, obviously. Oh, all right. And I'd like to cast once they've backed up. Mm-hmm. Detect magic. Roll two d twenties. Yeah. Please don't do two ones again. Please don't do two Please, ones. Yeah. Different we're dice. all thirty feet away. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're yeah. rolling a lot of I figured. Today. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna make you get caught like, unawares by another fireball. You've guys. got this, babe. <laughs> there you go. First one. There you go. Oh, uh, twenty. Okay. Second one. Ten. All right. Um, as you, uh, cast Detect Magic, um, from the grass, a large cloud of butterflies and flower petals oh. in a 10-foot radius around you, okay. uh, you, after about a minute, your levitation starts. Oh, right, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, uh, as you're detecting magic, uh, these butterflies, you can still see the magic with your eyes like you're normally used to. But the butterflies in these flower petals seem to float around the things that are magical. Huh. Uh, clearly, your pendant on your chest seems to any el- any other magic items that you might be wearing around you or within ten feet. Uh, you notice that the butterflies and flower petals fly towards the black mm-hmm. substance in this container, but as they get there, they melt. Uh, oh. As the wings of the butterflies sort of melt away oh. and their bodies fall to the ground, dissipating into their illusionary elements, and the flowers themselves wilt and melt and and fall to the ground and also disappear. It is your eyes indicate to you that it is a magical substance. Um, does it tell me? It is a school that you do not know. Oh, which is unusual. Uh, which what is, is it, Alessandra? That's Alessand- the first Alessandra? time yeah. anyone that you it, would know in history that there isn't a school that you don't know. You, uh, what is it, sis? What is it, sis? Sis. Sis. I, sis. I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know what this is. That's a first. But, That's so a you, super first. You know first. all sorts of schools. I, I, I know. Yes, I do. I do. I, I know. Well, I've studied this. Um, you, you feeling okay? But if you don't know, then I don't know, and that makes me really scared. And that scared. means that if he don't know, I don't it, know. It must be something new, which I guess makes sense because we're here investigating stuff that has never happened before. So no school magic. We're just we ought to be careful with this. Well, all right. Um, the doe starts awake uh, and, oh, back up and oh, stands hello. up, oh. uh, looking around and darts into the forest. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, uh, you removed the the substance from uh, it, and not it was all able it. to. It was really the, just that one. Oh, it was. Yeah, oh, okay. I thought we there was we a shouldn't lot of let it. that thing infect other deer. We'll, we'll go get it. Yeah, we'll yeah. go get it. What's it? Careful. Uh, yeah. And yes. I'm, I'm going to go with the barbarian. Okay. All right. And we run like gazelles. Yeah, we run <laughs> so fast. What is your movement speed? Um, forty. Yeah. Okay. I have thirty. You have thirty. I got my bow. You can dash too. Yeah, I, mean, I can you're, dash. Yeah, you're you're, you're a rogue. <laughs> so you can make. And I got my short bow. You can make oh, ninety. I see Grandpa dash. Ninety a turn. Um, I just I pull out like a rascal. I'm like. 
<laughs> as it darts off, uh, it's clearly faster than you, but you're able to keep up with it fairly well. So you won't okay. be able to get melee attacks off on it, but you certainly can get range. Oh, that's uh, that was something. Jeremy. Laramie, what do we do when we catch up to you? I, I don't know. Actually, we, I, don't I wasn't touch sure it. if we were going to kill uh, it or we were going to just like catch it. I'm going to throw my hand axe uh, at it. I, I don't know. I think we're going to kill it. Okay. 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 Roll your roll. Yep. Straight roll. Sorry. Uh, 18. Yeah, that hits the deer for sure. Do your damage. Um. Eight. Uh, as you two are like, oh, 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 pulling hand axes, uh, what did you use? My short bow. Uh, a, a, a small arrow flies in between yeah. both of you, hitting it directly in the heart oh. as it falls to the ground uh, dead. I still, uh, okay. Yep. You still throw it? I still throw it and it hits for five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you throw it, it sort of severs one of the legs. Yeah. Oh, no. You hit the ground. Good job, Pat Pat. You hit it. Uh, Y'all did fantastic. And I'm okay. walking up to the deer. Yeah. Thanks, is, Pat, Pat. is the body, <laughs> like, I I'm, I'm guess I'm looking at it because uh, uh, Mateus pointed out, like, all the sickness that was yeah. happening. Um, and we've all noticed the black kind of yeah. venoming out. Yeah. Is that what's happening here? Like, am I seeing, like, more of that black yeah, stuff? Like, no, moving, no, okay. no. Uh, but make a, a perception check for me. Or investigation, whichever is better for you. Inquisitive road. In quite inquisitive. That's not great. Uh, I'm sorry, you said I could use investigate or... Or uh, perception up to you. Or, yeah. uh, so, 12. 12. Um, you don't notice anything different. You do notice those gray spl splotchy patches on its skin. There doesn't seem to be any more of that, uh, of that like, crude oil type... Uh, substance on its underbelly but you clearly see the burns on its underbelly mm. it also has a severed front leg mm. uh, and you shot it no, uh, in in its heart uh, killing it I'm gonna call it, back it, it, to Alessandra and Mateus oh we got it I, I'm holding it over my shoulder oh careful careful yeah oh, I got yeah. it no but, but no don't touch what? I, no put it down oh come on now we don't just touch the Remember, we weren't going to touch it. It could be infected with something. Otto, was that you? <laughs> <laughs> Otto, was that you? <laughs> no, I thought you wanted it. Across, I thought you wanted me. Put it, put it down. Across, yeah, across, put it across down. time That's and right. consciousness, the, the bit of Otto back in your brain is like, yeah. yep, this is the right thing to do. <laughs> Where do you think this comes from? Put, put it down. Okay, we, should burn, right. we should burn the body. No, but then that makes smoke. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Larry, right. you notice that there is some of the blood from the... the the deer uh, sort of run down the back of, of Jeremy. Jeremy, I, I, Jeremy, uh, oh it, my gosh, Jeremy. Without thinking, <laughs> I think because it's so second nature to be using these cantrips. Like, yeah, for sure. Day, like, for sure. I don't like press the digitation. Roll to, like, 2d20. Oh clean off that blood. Yeah, no, roll sure. 2d20. I just yep. feel like no, I know. No, it makes sense, <laughs> absolutely. Fireball. It's like you Jeremy, do it without thinking. Yeah, you have course. blood all over your back. <laughs> And it's getting, it's getting on your armor. Okay. It's getting on your arm. I can't be dirty, you guys. Uh, I can't. Her beautiful can't. blonde hair, as she dis dissipates the blood from your back, God, thank you. falls out onto the ground. Wait, Alessandra's does? Yeah, the whole her whole head of hair. Oh, 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 oh my. Okay. Oh, oh my. All right. Uh, um, uh, is this, it's, it's, it's temporary. It's fun. It's, it's temporary. It it'll actually, grow um, back. You have a really. You did that for get, me. Give me, give me your scarf. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no, here, here, and whatever you need, whatever you need. Yeah. Sister, whatever you need, you did that looks, for me, looks and fine. I just. You know, you get your cranium no, shake it, from your mother's. It looks really good. I do good. not need to hear it. Okay. Up. No, I, whatever you need, that was well. You knew the price of magic, and you did it anyway, just so I wouldn't well, be. You know, bloody. I wasn't thinking. Really. You know, no, it's you okay. you made a sacrifice for me specifically. Specifically, and I just think it, you, it's which means permanent. a lot to me it's too. It's not permanent. It's definitely not permanent. I, I'm not floating anymore. Okay. It's going to be fine. Yeah. All right. Can just we get back on the road? We should burn the body. Uh, yes. Yeah. Help and, me gather some wood. And, uh, oh, yeah. Right. I, yeah. Wait. Gather some wood, and, and uh, I'm not casting magic, and I'm using my survival box. for wood. I got you. Oh, for uh, well, yeah. For... Survival. Yep. Can I roll athletics to like chop down a tree really <laughs> well? <laughs> Wrong. Really, I don't want to. Yeah. I just. I'm, I'm very strong. 12. 
You find plenty of like starters. I got it. I got it, guys. I got it. Yeah. Well, no, I please mean, do start chopping down trees. No, 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 no. It's, it's really unnecessary. Yeah. I, no, no, uh, we got, we got the, we got okay. this. In one swing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I rolled okay. a twenty-five on chopping yeah. trees. They Great. both bring down two we trees did. Oh, that's nearby forest. A bit more than I would have, but okay, fine. Um, and yeah, and creating a, a quick. Yeah, not far from where they have cut nope, down the trees. Okay. Right, it's a tree. It's not a. Please. I'm just standing Astons. behind him like a guy at a grill, just watching him make the fire. Like oh. we're trying to. I've used that technique. Find corruption. And, stop corruption. And we light. Are yes, and down I'm, this I'm burning force. the body. All right. <laughs> okay. And you just flip like your normal chef's yeah. kit. Yeah. Yeah. You're easily able to start okay. uh, a fire, and surprisingly. Deer are pretty big, so you need a pretty big fire to yeah. burn one. Uh, it turns out that Laramie and Jeremy cutting down these trees we is come perfectly through. exactly Good what you need. Good job, guys. Uh, yep. To completely burn okay. uh, this body. You uh, didn't think you needed it, but you did right, let's, need let's it. Let's just yeah, make sure we stomp out the fire, fire so we don't start a forest fire. You, right. uh, uh, Alessandro, you also know that your field guide would indicate to you that you should probably take some of the ashes mm -hmm. of the body yeah. for study it later. Okay. Oh, we'll take some of the ashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, it, sure. we've got some containers to uh -huh. to no. gather. Should we head back? Right. This, to Rayleigh's? Yeah, no. we'll go back home. We no, no, what? Go yeah. home. <laughs> well, we were sent here to find the corruption. Don't you think? <laughs> we we want to find be... the source of what's causing the corruption. I don't think. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think maybe, one dead deer. Accounts. But maybe we hear me we out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. It's my birthday. It's our birthday. I'm listening. <laughs> no, please, Larry, continue. Sorry, sorry. No, you sorry. have the floor. I'm, I'm listening. You know floor. how they wanted us to bring back any magical items and things that we yep. found in evidence of corruption. Right. So we shouldn't probably burn the entire body. We should probably keep the leg that... That Jeremy that cut off, so... which they did not bring with them to the fire. Oh no, it's still in the oh, forest. It's still did you want I'll that? Get it. Did you want that? Okay. I'll get the okay, okay, we'll go get it because we shouldn't burn I it. Know. We should bring it, it back for your study stuff. I, okay, I mean the leg is kind of hefty. We don't have our wagon anymore. Well, right. No, I could just I'll carry it on my back. We'll just carry it. All right. Should I give a deer leg through the forest? Okay. It's like no, no, we'll wrap it up. up. Yeah, wrap, wrap it up. It up. Let's, let's, wrap it up. We don't let's want wrap it up. Don't let it bleed on you. No, no. I, no. We'll, I can't we'll be messy. Also take some ashes. Can't. We are taking some specimens. Yeah, we've got some yeah. ashes. We're good. All right. All right. Thanks for hearing me out well on done. our birthday. We really appreciate yeah, you. So of course. Good thinking. Um, all right, well, we need to make it to the side of the ley line at the very least. Uh, how far are we? Yeah, so as you crest the final hill, Salubria Glora unveils itself in the golden hues of a setting sun. Picture perfect cottages dot the landscape, their chimneys puffing lazy rings of smoke into the early evening sky, two of them. The winding cobblestone streets guide your eyes towards the heart of town quaint in its familiarity and charming in its simplicity. A modest town square is vi visible from your vantage point, empty of people. Wait, did you say there was There's smoke? Or no, smoke coming from two of the chimneys. Two the chimneys, but, but no, no other signs no of other people. signs of people. And we would expect the You would people. expect to okay, see great. lots yeah. of people, for sure. Uh, Beyond the town, the landscape plunges dramatically into the azure sea, the final outcropping of land stubbornly resisting the tide. The sea is a canvas of undulating sapphire, the horizon bleeding into the sky. It's a breathtaking contrast between this rugged coastline and the serene, silent town. Uh, it's a vision that would by, be idyllic, if not for the unease in your heart. Suddenly, your attention is shattered by a ragged gasp. <gasps> <coughs> a figure stumbles into your path. <laughs> yeah, got Careful, that. Ron. Careful. <laughs> a figure stumbles into your path, clad in the recognizable army of a local soldier. His face is a mask of fear and pain. <clears throat> easy. Thank easy, you. Easy, Thank buddy. you. <laughs> Iridescent sweat, drenching his hair, clinging to his pale skin, oh. as if he has a thin veneer. <laughs> Of rainbow light. Oh. Uh, yeah, like like oil on the surface of the oh, water. Yeah. Oh. Um, he stumbles forward, trembling violently, his eyes hollow, haunted, puffy red, tears streaming down his face. And he says, 
Noxerimus uh, Provencala. His voice raspy and weird. He repeats the phrase like a mantra. Noxerimus Provencala. Stay back. Stay back. Noxerimus Provencala. I'm sorry, we don't understand you. He uh. looks at you. And grasps your, no. okay. your clothes. Uh, no, sir, we, can, we can help. We can oh. help. Oh. His glazed oh. eyes don't see you. His focus consumed by some invisible horror. Uh. He falls to his knees, shaking his armors, clang, clanging dully against the cobblestone rose, road. The phrase, No, sir, Provencala, hangs in the air an eerie echo disturbing the quiet serenity of the twilight scene. And that yeah. is where we will end ah. this evening. Ooh. Ooh. That's real scary. Pretty chill. Yeah, pretty chill. I love how wild y'all are. <laughs> what are you talking about? So sorry um, for all the cross talk and laughing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we are so good. Hyper. So good. So good. Hyper. Thank you, everyone. Oh uh, as goodness. always, at the end of our show, we oh. like to read out our uh, team Force of Light and Force of Shadow Ooh. names in uh, the formative oh. improv game. Woo -woo. Uh, so, uh, Morgan. Uh, yes. Do a lot of My friends, we got some good ones. Oh, sorry. One thing. Tonight. I do have to say one thing. Thank you to Lincoln Break. For a mote of uh, a mote of shadow. Thanks, Thank you. Excuse me, a, a burst of shadow. A burst of shadow. Yes. Thank you. Uh, awesome. Voiced. Speaking of shadow, yes, as, as Ron mentioned, we like to read off uh, the team members from Team Light and Team Shadow in styles of uh, their suggestion. Uh, and we have a couple excellent ones tonight. We're going to start with Team Force of Shadow, friends, uh, with a suggestion from Tapartos, which is. Things you might hear on the SAG WGA picket line. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We're down the clown. We're down the clown. We're down the clown. We're down the clown. Oh my gosh, do you think after this we could like abra kill dabra right out of here? I think so. It's so oh, hot. I think I'm it's so hot here. with this temperature oh right now. But did you see two of masks? <laughs> It was looking great. It was so We're hot. It was so hot. Is like, that the star of Kitty Scratches over there? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think it is. I'm like, it's so much more attractive in person. You totally. know, I, I I heard they got their Lincoln break uh, on the film Fail Waffle, what? The Reckoning. What? Oh, the Reckoning. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that sequence. All right, this is the Gateway Guy. We got some workers coming in the line. We got to move okay, out of the They drive away in their Audi. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. the sunlight. Like, is, I, the sunlight. The sunlight makes me think I'm nuts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow! Wow! We crushed through that yeah. one. Thank yeah. you, Team Force Shadow. Yeah. That was. We don't know. We, what, it we don't know well. what that's like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We knew, we knew it too well. well. Uh, that's right. Uh, support SAG. Support WGA. Uh, we love you all. Uh, for Team lives. Force of Light, we have a suggestion from I think I'm nuts. Uh, which is a pharmaceutical marketing department on how to describe the odd side effects of their latest prescription drug. Okay. So, uh, I understand that we want to be as incredibly honest with people as possible. Honesty but, uh, is very sure. big right uh, now. Sure. Honesty sure. is very is. big. Um, but I don't under... Um, so, you know, with our new um, Festive Life Preserver... Love it. Best branding. Best branding. Yes. Um, can we, do we, should we uh, just say uh, that it d does give you um, a, a hearty case of Beaker Bar? A hearty case? Like, it's, a, it's like, um, so we, well, we mentioned it, like, Beaker Bar, but like, it's like, oh, it's like a hearty case. It's like a full, it's full a Beaker Bar. Full Beaker Bar. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I mean, I think that was just one case of the Gold family, and right. I don't know um, that that is representative of, okay. of what... I think the Angel sure Devilson that. test group, I mean, they only really, okay, they suffered well, a light they, case of Beaker Bar. Yeah, uh, but, 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 but in fairness, I mean, they, they were... The dungeon speed running that drug that's way too fast. That's like, true. That was that's right. true. Brave up, brave up, brave up. Oh, oh, brave right. up. All right, Jeff. Uh, we so really appreciate you coming brave in. Brave up. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff, why don't you take the rest of the day off? Brave up. <laughs> Did you give <laughs> yes. Jeff okay, some so, festive listen, life preserver? I was thinking that we should have the ethics to try the drugs ourselves. Mm. And so brave I up. gave. <laughs> brave up. Jeff. Jeff. 
some festive life preserver, and he's not been the same. Rival. That um, is a gym witted plan. If I, ever I I've just, heard one. As marketers, I feel it's our responsibility to understand the implications of the products that we sell. Okay, okay, but okay, Jeff okay. is Fenderil's son. Yeah, like Fenderil's gonna have a lot. Can we get the Ghostbusters quick response unit in staff? Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, uh, GQ, are you? Could you get in here and get him, get the brave out of here? You're just Jules, baby. You're just Jules. You're gonna be so fun. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Well, guys. The, the okay. biggest feedback that we've gotten from our test groups right. is that the side effect list is unbearably loquacious and no one is able to get through it. I like that. What mm -hmm. if we called it, instead of saying it gives you a case of beeper, beaker par, yeah, the right, new uh, festive life preserver a a just might make you unbearably loquacious? Oh, that's okay. actually, that just like, sounds I mean, a little annoying. It doesn't just, sound like, you know. Just, unbearably right, loquacious. Okay. Right. Right. Uh, we also need to make sure that it possibly causes death. Oh, oh yeah. 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 That's why I'm here. Oh, God. That was dark. Oh, Jeff. Honestly. Dark. Honestly. <laughs> uh, the number of, like, medical commercials I see now, yeah. there's one of them. I don't even and know what it is. It's like, death. it's like, do not take this if you're allergic. Don't <laughs> yeah, like, I'm allergic to it. How do I know I'm allergic to the drug unless I take the drug and then I'm allergic? <laughs> They're insane. They almost They're all ridiculous. cause death. Yeah. 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 No, that's what I mean. Loss like, of yeah. limb. Loss of limb. Yeah. 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 What? There's some crazy yeah. ones out there. We don't Thank love you. to be casting those commercials. Yeah, we'll take it. I would definitely take that extra money. Look, I have no problem saying you can take this drug because, like me, I also have hernias. I love, I love to tell you how depressed I am. And that's of team my force of life. Yes. Team force of life. That's team too much well, information. Well, guys, I gotta say, the first half was super emotional oh and a lot of like, really great interactions and scene work. Yeah, uh, the and then the second same. one was also that, but just insane. Yeah, yeah. Just kidding. Wild magic chaos. What do you mean? Uh, I, I This has been a pleasure for me, as I mean, it always is. And fun. keep in mind that that's, uh, the five characters are actually, you know, that Val, that yes. Val, <laughs> like that they, you they're all remember experiencing this. every moment of this. That really in Cristobal, uh, that we're all watching this happen. Yes. That's so funny. Now these are not you, they are yeah. just, you're seeing we're the visions seeing of the memories, past of yeah. this family. Yeah. So cool. there will be con there will be conversations. Coco and, likes what they see. Yeah, I mean it's, <laughs> yeah, it's super interesting. It. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> a lot has happened. Make sure you vote. Uh, yes. You know the, the gods who watch are going to have a major impact on the chapters going forward. Uh, and join us next week on Tuesday. Yep. We're going to be doing Tuesday because again, Serena and Josephine are going to be at Gen Con. Make sure yeah. you say hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and as always, ladies, gentlemen, and gentle days. Humankind, be bold. We love you. <laughs> <laughs>